friends, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, welcome. Linda Blessing, welcome. Cornelius, so good, delicious, my darling husband. Welcome. Now let's warm up a little bit. Happy TV. 
pretty happy. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estelle. <laughs> Esther, did you see mommy dancing? Did you see mommy digging it down here? <laughs> Thank you so much, King James, Cornelius, everyone. Woo! Man, this is just so amazing. Who is coming up next? Let's continue the dance, right? <laughs> you should click the button there. Click on the link and come up. Thank you so much. Guys, I really welcome every one of you on today's stream. Yes, yeah, so Estelle. Estelle, are you are running away from dancing. Are you sure you're not tired already, Estelle? You know you have a confession to make this afternoon, Estelle. You have a confession to make. I will ask you today. <laughs> all right, everyone. It's really good to have you all join me on today's stream. And today we'll be talking about what are the essentials, essential secrets, like are there really any secret to you're laughing don't laugh <laughs> to a successful and a happy marriage or are they just by luck by destiny or something we have to deliberately and consciously work upon is marriage like you know most often times we see successful couples we see couples giving us couples goals you go to instagram it looks as if Okay, 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 Estelle, no problem. You know, you go to Instagram, you go to TikTok, you come on Facebook, even here on YouTube, and then you see couples giving us couples goals. Like when you see them with their too much dressing, you see the way they look at each other's, you know, they look into each other's eyes, you see the way they play, you see the way they love up, the way they profess love, and all the romantic love it be stuff they drop here and there. It makes you begin to wonder, like, ah, is your marriage the same with these people? Is it the same marriage that you are into, those ones are into? And then you begin to wonder if you are doing anything, you know, something wrong, and if your marriage is not working. You know, when you hear testimonies, people come out to say, oh, my husband, oh, my wife, my wife is the most amazing woman. Like I wouldn't have asked for any other woman in the world. She is the one in, I mean, one in a million wife. She's got the wife material, one million yard. She's very submissive. She's very pretty. My marriage is perfect. When you hear all these things, it gets you, you know, makes you begin to wonder, oh, look, okay, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. It makes you begin to wonder, what is going on with your own marriage? Is your marriage the same as this marriage you're talking about? Is it the same marriage or there is something different? You know, yes, I would say marriage is, is by God's grace. Well, that is for you, yes, it's by, God, by God's grace. Does it mean that other marriages don't have God's grace upon them? <laughs> yes does it mean that that or other marriages that we hear gospels every day we hear about domestic violence we hear about uh spousal abuse we hear this and that you know ah, Pat, oh god she has come she has come she has come you know we hear all this all this sad news about some marriages. You wonder, those marriages, don't they have the grace of God upon them? Is it that God has destined some marriages to work? Because truth be told, there are a lot of women out there. They are putting in their best. They are doing everything they have been taught in marriage classes. They are doing everything they have seen their parents do, their mothers do. Talk about submissiveness. These women are there. You talk about good cooking. These women are there. You talk about not arguing with husband. These women are there. You mention, I mean, being everything, wife material, one million yards. These women are there. They have boys, they have girls. They give everything into their marriage. Like they practically lose themselves. Yet, yet, you see some of this almost perfect marriage falling apart. Pat says, I don't tap into people's blessing when it comes to marriage. God bless you, sister. God bless you, Sister Pat. God bless you. You are so right. But you see, sometimes when, when you see some of these um, couples on social media, you can't help but say, oh my God, how I tap into this blessing. Almost perfect. When I say perfect, almost perfect. You see the wife looking, you know, okay, marriages like um, Mercy Johnson, for instance. You see 
You see Mary, Mercy Johnson's kind of marriage, and you see how they play, how the children love their mommy, how they play around, everything on social media, and you say, ah, I tap into this. This woman is so lucky. This woman is so blessed. Look at how she plays with her husband. Look at how he, uh, the husband plays with her. My own husband, I can't even tap him on the head. Eh? All he wants is open, make her enter at night. I can't even tap him. I can't play with him. I can't hit him. You know, and then he will begin to shout. Is it not another woman? The husband is the, 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 another woman is hitting her husband there. Is that not marriage? This woman can even slap her husband jokingly, and the husband will take it in such a very funny way, and they will hit themselves and laugh. They will play, and you ask yourself, are these people's marriage destined to work? Are these marriages destined for success? Why others are destined to fall apart? What is the secret behind this? What's making their marriage work? What is bankrolling their marriage, if I would put it that way? Is it the grace of God that is bankrolling their marriage? Or is it by their personal efforts that the marriage is working? Or it is by sheer luck that this one found a perfect man? Or this man found the perfect wife? Is it by luck, by destiny, or the grace of God bankrolling the marriage? That is what we'll be discussing tonight. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Pate Yaba said, hey, hey, God, let me see what this, this my spoilt, this my spoilt, this my spoilt sister. Let me see what she wrote. I need to, I need to, I need to pay what she wrote. Hey. Goodness, I've not seen it. Even if you, even if the bola is not working, let there be money. Oh, plenty money, and the bola will work. <laughs> how did I? How did I come in contact with this woman? <laughs> oh, Pat, please, you will spare me today. Pat, I'm cheering up already. Spare me today because. <laughs> There is a comment. Uh, it was Olufunke that said it on my dear. Okay, yes. <laughs> Marriage is by love. And Pat said money, cucumber plus money equals to forever. Pat, are you really sure that when you have the money, like all the money in the world, the cucumber is working perfectly well, like you're getting good dose of the bola day in, day out, like as you want it and anyhow you want it. Then the marriage is forever. Good money, good bola, and the marriage is perfect. Is that what you're saying, Queen? Hey! Hey, oh God, give me money and better bola. Oh, give me money and good bola. But, hmm. Yes, and Peaceful Family said we should not compare our marriages with others. And this is 100% true. Because behind closed doors, you don't know what these couples are dealing with. We only see social media vibes. We only see the beauty behind the camera, I mean the beauty in front of the camera. What about the punches behind the camera? Do we know if there are even punches? Or the, all these things are just for crews? for content, are they for content or their real life display of love and affection for one another? Truth is, like you said, a peaceful family, you do not compare your marriage with anyone. Marriage is grace of God, but women use their sense. Use their, okay, women, but women use your sense for marriage. Love no help anybody. Hmm. Uh, Pat, jo, uh, Sister Estelle, don't mind Pat. Uh, money buys happiness, so Nobody should tell me otherwise. <laughs> yes, comparison is very bad in marriage. Some marriages get money, still no work. Tell Pat to Pat, hey, Pat, Patty, Pat, don't stress my brother. Pat, oh, no stress my brother. Oh, see, as you they shine, you're good. <laughs> I don't even see, I don't think this one. <laughs> So marriage is there inside poverty and still no work. Last, last, chop money. Mm. Oh, welcome. Thank you so much, Queen. I appreciate you. Hmm. Well, okay. So while we are while we are at it, I'm dropping the link. Anybody that wants to come up, please do well to jump on the link. Let us start the conversation. Yes. 
Personally, I want to give you my own opinion here, okay? And this is the reason why I'm coming up to do this. Like I said, the essence of this love night with spice is so we can rub minds together. <laughs> I owe you bikini show. Um, I promise you next week, I will return to the beach and I will show you my bikini body. Shabi, that's what you want to see, spoiled woman. <laughs> Anyways, guys, the essence of this show is so we can rub minds together. You know, so we can see where we are getting it wrong and where we need to improve. If there are ways, you know, your own contribution is going to help my marriage and the ways my own contribution is going to help your marriage. <laughs> oh my God, let me just leave this here while I'm talking. <laughs> you know, because I believe that no two marriages are the same. And there is no one formula for every marriage. Marriage does not have a formula. It is one high institution you will get into and you will never graduate. That is the truth about marriage. We have heard this over and over again. Marriage is an institution that you get into and you don't even graduate, but you have been given certificates. For those who do court wedding and church wedding, you actually get to receive your certificate even before the journey begins. Whereas the truth is the journey has to begin even before the marriage. And we know that a lot of people put in so much effort preparing for wedding. They prepare for the traditional marriage. First of all, they prepare for the pre-wedding photos. No, the engagement. Engagement is so well planned. Engagement is so well planned. Yeah, let me see. I think... Um, Yes, no two marriages are the same. What works for A may not work for B. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, you see couples who are in love, or a guy and a lady who have been in love for several years or months decide to tie the knot. They begin to, first of all, plan engagement. They don't begin to look into the, each other's life to even find out if they can make a good uh, couple if they are compatible in different ways. Because you just have to be compatible to a certain percentage. When you are not compatible with someone, you know, at all, at all, it is already a crash. I mean, the, the marriage, when you get into the marriage, it's already on autopilot. It's bound to crash because where there is no compatibility in every aspect, but just your heart beating for each other, it is already a failure bound to happen. You put in effort, money, and everything. I should be opinionated, right? You put in money. You put in everything planning the engagement. You don't even look at, I mean, the qualities, the characters of this young man or this young lady you are about to engage. No, that doesn't consign you because all you are thinking about is that the guy is very handsome, he is rich, and he's good looking. That is good enough. And then as for the woman, you the guy gets carried away. You don't even know if she can prepare food for you. You don't know if she's a homemaker. Welcome, Fabra Happiness. Yeah, women, last, last, go and make your money. There is enjoyment in this life. I, I believe you, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, you don't know if she's a homemaker. You don't know if she is the kind of woman that you can raise a family, that you can start a family with, that you can raise children with. All you care about is her physical appearance, her beauty. The way she speaks, yes, 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 her qualifications, her job, that is all you are carried away with. Thank you so much. And then you go about planning an elaborate engagement. From engagement, you begin to plan pre-wedding photos. Oh, you splash the internet with pre-wedding photos, beautiful, jaw-dropping pre-wedding photos that we make single girls go and ask God, when is my time? God, why? Baba God, when is it my time? This is my fellow woman. Look at her. She's getting married to this handsome guy. The guy is not just handsome. The guy is very rich. The guy is not just rich. The guy got six pack. Yes, sister. Preach it, six pack. 
Lucy Chama, welcome. Thank you so much. The guy is not just loaded. The guy is so cute. Damn, he's so handsome. You look at his link, lips, you just feel like kissing those lips. And then inside, a little bit of envy begins to crack up. And then to make it worse, the guy goes to church with her. And you see them in church, worshipping together, raising up their hands in songs of praises. And you say, oh my God. This is my fellow woman. God, I have been praying. When is it going to be my time? God, when will it be my time? Yes, of course, I don't think marriage, I don't think good marriage is by love, though. The two parties must put in effort to make it work. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes, we are headed there. And then you wonder, when is it going to be your time? After the pre-wedding photo, then the traditional marriage. Oh my God, come and see money being spent. These couples are dedicating their, their time. Like they, are, they, they, they are taking every, 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 every block. Every box, every box. Yes, they are taking all the boxes. Eh? Yes, soft leaves. When the guy say hello, you feel like kissing him in, on, on camera with his with his jaw lines, you know, with his very groomed beers. If you book and no, so when they sweet, the bobo sweet, like even you, you if you see him, you want to just drag him to yourself. And then you see the traditional marriage. Hmm? Elaborate. Guys spared no expense. Like everything was well taken care of. Talk about drinks. Talk about events. Talk about food. Talk about band. Talk, I mean, name them everything well checked. Then come the tradition, the white wedding. Elaborate. Glamorous. Elegant. Explicit. Classic. Name it. And then with a touch of romance. Hey! Perfect couple. The perfect couple, that is what you tell yourself. God, this is a perfect couple. Check it, TV. Welcome. Thank you so much. Welcome, Queen. And then the marriage is done. When this marriage is over, the couples begin to live together. One month, I mean, the first month is all romantic pictures and videos couples goes everywhere nine months boom is a baby boy or a baby girl and you wonder god this is just too perfect these couples have been so romantic from their pre-wedding photos from their engagement look at them five years down the line what happens yes it may work out it may remain perfect Yes, I have seen marriages like that. That have been so perfect. Eh? That have been so perfect from day one. And you begin to ask yourself, is, are these two people destined? Like the guy is just too good. The lady is just too good. Are they destined to be together? Why can't they just meet each other partner so that one person that is having bad boys in the house can at least have a good partner? Hmm? Okay, 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 one your ma. Okay, hmm? it's because the woman is not prayer. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, so there is no award for best wedding. I, it's Josie here. Yeah? I think I saw um, I saw somebody mention Josie. It's Josie here. Yeah? It's Josie here. Yeah? Did I miss Josie? Did I miss her? Okay, I don't know. I don't think she's here yet. Yeah? Welcome, Josie, in case I missed you, but I don't think Josie is here yet. But I believe she is on her way. Thank you so much, guys. So you begin to wonder, waiting. Whereas your own husband to take picture with him, not basketballs. To take one single picture with him is problem. You can't even ask to take a common selfie with him. He will be forming Odobu, very serious man. Tight to chief. And you're wondering, what of this woman? Five years, ten years, they've been giving people couples goals. Eh? They have been so romantic, so affectionate. Going in and out, whenever you meet them, the husband's hand is around her, her waist. <coughs> he's never, he's never lucky when it comes to kisses and pecs. Always displaying public affection. But in Kegi, you can't even play with him small, both inside and outside of the house. 
What happened? Are they destined to, to, to be together? Is it by sheer luck? Or they worked on it? So, please guys, jump on this link. Let us discuss what are those principles that make for a perfect marriage. Like I said, no two marriages are the same. What may work for you may not work for another person. That part of Yaba, you see the way part of Yaba can put her hand on top of her husband's head, and you see them playing, chopping goat heads together, devouring goat heads, hitting each other, and dropping basketballs on each other publicly. You now say, Ah, hmm, see, Pat, the husband can't find young, see, beards, and see this part. Pat even deserves this man. See the way she even shake the guy, see the way she hit the guy, basketballs. She even deserve him. Pat, come and tell us. Is it by luck that you and this guy, Odogu, or it is by the grace of God, or you open your eyes before you said yes? Hmm? Pat, I need you to come and tell me. If you go and crack here, yeah, joke with Odogu, kind of husband, anything where your eyes see, now you go. <laughs> I'm telling you, eh? You go and crack joke with chief titled man, a, a, a titled man. Eh? You go and hit him on his titled head. You don't look for trouble with that too. <laughs> I'm going to be one minute, guys. <laughs> so, no two marriages, I believe. Hmm? Okay, Pat, no problem. No two marriages are equal. Because what may be working for Pat's marriage, or what may be working for Zoe's marriage, or what may be working for Peaceful Family's marriage, or what may be working for Cornelius' marriage, or Fabro's marriage, may not be the same thing that will work for you. So number one thing you have to know is that no two marriages are the same. And there is no perfect marriage anywhere. There is nothing like perfect marriage. There is no perfect marriage. Because every marriage is a work in progress. Eh? And there is nothing like a perfect couple. We all have our flaws. We all have our weaknesses. We all have one thing that we are struggling with that our partner have decided to accept and live with. No matter how perfect you think a woman is, there is something the husband wouldn't have wanted. I mean, if you give the man a chance, there is something about her he wants to remove. There is something about her he will want to add to her. If you give the man a mod, he will want by himself to make and mold that perfect wife he wants. But from outside, we think she's all perfect, all religious, all prayerful with a touch of beauty and error, name it. <laughs> Pastors, marriages are perfect too because God chose the perfect partner for them. But, <laughs> but there is no perfect marriage. Every couple you see argue and fight. The difference between that one and the one you see every day is that this one decided to raise their voice for their neighbors to see. This one decided to call in 10 neighbors. This one decided to shout, hey, hey, bani, oh, hey, bani, oh, hey, bani, oh, he wants to kill me, oh, mo. neighbors, come and help me. The other one decided to chop the beating in silence and in peace. You don't know. You do not know. Olupunka say, mm, the day I saw my parents at oh, 40, okay, oh, 42 years married, arguing, I was just laughing like, so you guys fight too. <laughs> you see, 42 years married, you still see them argue and fight. But you see, the difference is, when it happens, they find a way to resolve their differences quietly, amicably, without letting it destroy the marriage, without letting it ruin the marriage. What about pastors that see vision of their wife before marriage? But that will not be true. Forget all those visions. They won't marry the babe. There is nothing like vision. There is nothing like vision. They see the babe, eh, like her. They won't marry her. Hello, hang out with Chica. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you. But 
There is nothing like 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 vision. Forget all those pastors that say this. And they even see uh, visions for their for for their church members. They see visions for church members and tell, tell your brother, this sister is for you. I have seen vision that this is your wife. I have seen vision that this is your husband. Hmm? And then you wonder, after seeing the vision, give them a few months or a few years, the marriage has packed up. What happened? God is not the author of confusion. Marriage is for us. It's more of spiritual and physical because you cannot just be spiritual without working on it physically. Because we are human beings. We are living. We are physical beings. We are physical beings, and in as much as we know we, are, we have a spiritual side, we have to consciously work on our marriages. So like I said, there is nothing like a perfect couple out there. Every couple you see argue. Every couple you see have misunderstanding. Every couple you see have disagreements. Because we are two people coming from two different backgrounds, raised by two different families, grew up in two different environments, had different experiences, had different friends. Even twins, identical twins, have misunderstanding. They fight, they quarrel and argue. Okay, host, I will be here soon. Just finished work and now giving hobby a haircut. Oh, you see what we are saying? Couples goals, romantic couples. Hmm? You see, that is what we are saying. You will see Oyoyo massaging the husband's feet, grooming the husband's beard. Whereas you can't even touch your own husband's beard. He makes the academic will say, Ta, why you open my canaba? Why are you touching my chief tie to my chief tie to beard? Yeah? There is no perfect marriage. She can say, what's in concern for so perfect marriage part? The both couple must put in work, no matter what the part, no matter if the pastor is seeing vision, Jerry. Thank you. Eh? Information center. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining the stream. I appreciate you. I think this is the first time I'm seeing this beautiful guest in my house. I appreciate you. Guys, can you give a thumbs up and share out to your community? Please, let's have more people, okay? Do me that favor. Share out to your community. Let's have more people, okay? Thank you so much. So every couple quarrel and fight. They have misunderstanding. So the first thing first is that you have to focus on your marriage. Hey, gorgeous woman. Susan, how about it? Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you, ma. Thank you. Welcome, ma. You have to focus on your own marriage. Focus on the strength of your marriage. Focus on the good side of your marriage. Focus on the positive side of your marriage. Focus on all the beautiful aspects of your marriage. The strength of your marriage is what upholds it, not the weakness. Always looking at couples on social media and comparing them with your marriage will not help your marriage work or succeed. Because deep down you become envious and jealous and you begin to see it as if your husband or your wife is not doing their best. You think they are not putting in their best. You see couples, you, there was a video I saw and a woman came to present food to her husband and she knelt down. And she knelt down, the husband placed his hand on her back. You know how, yes, thank you so much, do the one that was, you know how uh, a man would pass the woman's back. The woman knelt down, bowed down, and the man tapped her back and said, good wife. And she was all smiles and glows. And she knelt down there, brought the water for the husband to wash his hand. The man washed his hand and then, you know, asked her to stand up. She stood up, all smiles, and, you know, she was just so happy doing it. It was on social media. I was looking at this video. I said, Chai! Chai! Another husband will go and watch that video and then begin to tell the wife, did you see that woman? No, come and see this video. You cannot even bow down to me. You don't even add sir to my name. You are calling me uh, ba 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 Babajide. You are calling me Paul, calling me Linus, calling me Cornelius. 
like I call my husband here, eh? That is your fellow woman, all submissive, beautiful submissive woman. Do not compare. That may just be for the camera. That may just be for people to watch. That is a content. It may, it may not be. It may be real, it may not be. Do you know where that man is struggling? Welcome, Doris Clans. Welcome. Thank you so much. Do you know where that man is struggling? Do you know where that woman is struggling in her marriage? Wahala be like bicycle, Jare. You do not know. Not everything you see on social media. <laughs> Why are you exposing me now? Eh, Cordelus? Why are you exposing me? <laughs> <laughs> you understand it all depends you don't know the area I might be struggling in my marriage I do not know the area you are equally struggling in your own marriage mommy welcome thank you so much hello everyone how are you <laughs> I thought you know I've been, I've been on the phone I came up before because I, I didn't want to miss that dance today each time you play that dance I'm in the background dancing today I thought I was going to come on stage for those who came late you have to rewind and see the dance in the beginning you, you guys need to see mommy dancing mommy gave us the best hey you need to see the intro. Mommy gave us a hey. In fact, my head, my head scattered today, mommy. That dance was fun. It was amazing. Guys, you need to go and watch it back and see mommy digging it. Eh? True Mamle, welcome back. So we have true Mamle in the house said, at home. Okay. Sorry, it's a it's a busy evening for me. There's another call coming. So I said, let me jump in quickly and say something before I may come back again later if um I have anything else to say. But uh, I thought I'll just jump in quickly before the next call comes. It's a busy evening for me this evening. Okay, and, mommy, um, no problem. You Thank know, you. Let's hear you, ma. Let's hear you. Yes. You know, each time we talk about anything to do with family, relationship, marriage, you know, I'm up, um, I want to talk because of... um my own experience you know i was listening in the background and um you know people looking at others what they do with their husband or with their wife and then they want to um say oh my husband or my wife is not doing this for me we just have to do be ourselves every no marriage is the same we are so different what what um turns my own husband on may not turn another man on and vice versa. Mm. So mm. <laughs> anger with chica, you miss the dance. <laughs> may not um turn another person on. So we have we must not look at any other couple and say, oh, I wish I am that, like that person. I've said it before that people uh, have to um, mind what they wish because you are, you are not behind the scene. If you put camera in every home, and then mm. you see exactly what goes on. You know, you see exactly what goes on. Even me, be, having been married for so many years, even just, just this week, I'm sure there's been something my husband did and I, I'm like, spoke to him in a way that I'm not happy. Why did you do this and, and stuff like that? So there's always, we have that all the time. And uh, from what you're saying about Pat, touching her husband in the head or whatever, you have to know the type of husband you are married to before you know the kind of play and the kind of things mm. you do with him, either inside or outdoors. Because if you marry that kind of husband that is not expressive and he doesn't want to do all these things and, they, and because you want to show others that you actually love your husband, we have a loving marriage and you want to go and start doing that nonsense outside, that man will disgrace you mm -hmm. there. He, yeah, and mm -hmm. others will be like, oh. he will disgrace you because he's not used to this and he'll yes. be like, what is this all about? Yeah, so you have to know the type of person you're married to and know the type of thing that they actually enjoy and do it and don't go out there for public show because it's not going to go down very well. And then um, I feel sorry for people who look at other marriages or look at <laughs> couples and want to be like them. I really feel sorry for people like that. anybody that does that. I feel sorry for them because you don't know what goes behind. I've given an example of where a, somebody came to a pastor, say pastor and the wife, 
and they visited them and then he left and forgot his car key he fell under their chair so when he got to his car oh my god that's not my car key he went back and as soon as he got back he was still on the door and he could, they couldn't didn't even know that he came back. They were just abusing, and, and these, these were a couple that were just lovey, lovey when he was there. Oh, uh, sweetheart, this, this and that. And when he now came back to look for his key, just a few minutes after, there was a huge argument, you know, and mm. what was the argument about? It was to, to do with what they offered. Oh, it's so sad. What they offered the visitor when he came, that he shouldn't have given him that. Who did you take? Did we discuss that? So you have to discuss with your husband first where, before you give a visitor um, a drink or something. That shows you just very little thing that may cause big problem for people. So they didn't even, the man wasn't even away for five minutes and they're already killing each other. But when he was there, mm. if, if he was that kind of man that was not living well with his own wife, he would go out there and say, hey, Look at them. They were even put one of them was putting their leg on top of the other one and they were just doing all that. And the man was like very happy that they are living happily. Obviously, he was married as well. But assuming mm -hmm. he was that kind of person. So that's why we must not um, look at what we see, especially uh, this is social media. People come out to social media and display what they want us to see. And that's why mm. you, you don't have to judge by what you see on social media because people mm -hmm. can just put up appearances and you think that that's how it is, but it's not how it is. So let us mm. be us. Let us, let us do us. Whatever works for you, whatever you uh, it works for you and your spouse, just go by that and don't look at any other person and don't even ask any other person what they think, especially your your friends who are in on similar mm. level there's nothing they don't have any more, more more experience than yourself to even offer you anything don't start asking, telling to them oh look at what your husband did when we went out mm. the other day on a night out my husband will never do that if i want to sit on his lap he will push me out but your husband lets you to do this and that one will say ah well if if it's me oh, i won't allow that so oh, i'll tell him oh, and then you start having the ideas. Meanwhile, what they did when you went out was just public show. But your husband is not the type that wants public show. He wants to be himself. So if we don't get anything out of this discussion tonight, what we have to get mm. is that we have to be ourselves. What your husband does for you and what my husband does for me and what I do for my husband and them, um, what you do for your husband totally different, and what works for one will not work mm. for other. Just when you get married or when you start a relationship, that's, again, communication. You know, all my series, communication comes into it. Communicate with yeah. each other. What do they like? What is their love language? What do they, how do they want you to do? What, what Their love language will not be the same as the other person that you are looking at and trying to emulate. Mm. So... That's where we have to start. And when, once you understand each other and know what works for you, you will enjoy mm. that knowledge and people will see you and want to be like you, not knowing that yeah. you've been working hard behind the scenes and that you have um, taken time. Commitment, communication and commitment. You have to be committed, you know, and don't use, don't use children as a backup and as a people that um, children are just there, you concentrate on the children and you don't want to do anything with your husband, please let us be ourselves. And what works for one will not may not work for the other. So Absolutely. I think that's all I'm going to say for now. Yeah. So mommy, before you go, before you go one yeah. minute, let me just welcome yeah. some faces who just came in. Doris Clems, thank you so much for coming. Glorious Reality. Time out with Pami. Nemozo, welcome, ma'am. A black money uh, BMC. Thank you so much. Who else we had here? True ma'am Lee. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you for joining the stream. Please, guys, kindly thumbs up and share out your community, okay? Yeah, let's have more people coming. Now, mommy, to this question now, does it mean now, now so this so there are some marriages we see? Well, we see these marriages, they are almost perfect, both in and out of camera, okay? Is it by destiny, by love, or you think this, I mean, these couples are working on their marriages? Is it by luck or no. by destiny that they are, these two perfect people came to be, or it is something they have deliberately decided to work on? It is not by luck. That's nothing like luck, to be quite honest. 
Mm -hmm. Using myself as an example, I will not say that anything is by luck. Is you have made conscious effort to work on things and to decide that this is what we want to do and go for it. There's nothing like a uh, luck when it comes to things like this, or it's your destiny. Oh, or maybe some people will say, "Oh, I'll go for the to the pastor to pray for me to have a good marriage." Excuse me, the ma the pastor can mm -hmm. pray for you for as long as you want. If you don't work on that marriage. There's nothing like luck in marriage, honestly. Yeah, you may be in luck in the sense that you've got somebody that is compatible, somebody that you can actually sit down and have conversation with. Luck in God that bless sense, you. yes. Yes, luck in that sense, yes. But when it comes to how that marriage is working, it's not luck, it's hard work. It's what you have put mm. into it. But when you are, when you, because no, when matter, you can, no matter how you yeah. watch war room and pray and yeah. fast for your partner or no, pray no, for no, your no, marriage no. for money tonight, if you don't do the right thing, yeah, it will not it's not going to that prayer will not get to anywhere. So, luck in the sense that you are compatible is somebody that will, you want to talk and they're going to listen, they'll sit down and say, Okay, let's talk about this. Oh, why, why are you not happy today? What is the problem? Okay, let's talk about it. Luck in that sense, because some people have got no time for you to look at your face or to discuss anything with you. So that's where yeah. the luck comes into it, is when you are compatible. But when it comes to how the marriage is working, there's nothing like luck. You have to put in that effort. You have to make yeah. sure, you have to be committed to that relationship to make it work. And most of those yeah. uh, hard work, actually, from again, from my experience, those of uh, well, most of those hard work are done early on in in marriage, and then later on in marriage, when you are, you are raising the children and they have grown up and they've gone, all those things are no longer problem. When when I, I've seen people in our age group who are divorcing, that those are people who used children as a cocoon. They use the their husband or their wife ignores them. They turn to the children. What if you are not blessed with children? There are some marriages mm. that are not blessed with children. So why will you use children to, to be like mm. people, oh, uh, thank God for my... You even hear a married woman saying, my children. Oh, thank God for my children. I'll go, I'll go to my children's room. If they have a problem with their mm. spouse, they will leave their spouse's room and go to their children's room. Now, you are raising these children up. They are watching. Children these days mm. are very clever. Unlike when I brought mine up, you know, I raised my children in the 80s and 90s. I'm looking at children these days that think they're more clever than maybe because I had sons. You know, sons can be a little bit uh, slower in some of these things. But when I look at some of these children, these they're very clever. So we are now going to the children's room to pass the night because you're not happy with your husband. They are husband. watching. Yeah, they are watching and they are learning. And when they grow yeah. up and start doing something like that, you wonder where they get that from. So... Those marriages that are failing, because people say, oh, after I've seen marriages at, after 38 years like us and 40 years that failed. These are people that use children as protection. And once the children are grown up and gone, everything is exposed and they cannot stand each other. So very, very important that, yes, we love our children, but at the end of the day, marriage is for husband and wife. Children are mm -hmm. add-on. They are add on, no matter how much. I know when they are young and they are very tender, you breastfeed them, you care for them, and all the rest of it, but still make out some time for each other because those children believe. When I look at mine, I'm thinking, where, where are the years gone? Where are they? You know, because they, they grow so quick and they move on, and it's just two of you. That's when mm. all those cracks, all those uh, loopholes are now. Um, seen and there's nothing to patch. You can't patch them because they, they, those people mm -hmm. who are who are helping you to cover up are no longer there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, this is all I want Thank to you. say. Really, yeah. I, I, wow, I'll jump mommy. down. I'll be I'll be in the background. Unless anybody wants anything for me to say before I go, okay. I can see your Yoyo's word and uh, Susan Hevel Susan uh, about it. Yes, yeah. yes. They're here yes. to give it to Ross, Ross, and Rick. <laughs> mommy. <laughs> You know, yeah. I can't love you enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I'll be expecting you back. Thank you yes, so much. Let me just go for that phone call and well, I'll be well, back. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Good so evening, ma. Good evening, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love you, mommy. Yes, I so. love you too. I love you too. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank Good evening, house. Thank Good you. evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Good evening, Susan. How about it? Welcome. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Yoyo. Welcome. Thank and everyone Oyoyo, in the chat Oyoyo, Oyoyo, Thank you for coming. Good evening. 
Thank you, see. Yeah, fondant, Isina, fondant and pastry cake. Welcome. Thank you so much. Getting it right with Olivia. Welcome. Thank you. So let's hear from Ma Susan. How about tips? Give us, see, it, give it to us. Ra, 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 ri, ri, ri. <laughs> see, eh? You know, you know, we discussed similar thing yesterday. There is no, I don't think there is manual to this marriage, Joe. You know, mm -mm. there is nobody that will say, oh. Now waiting for Lokon be this or this how it's supposed to be. My number mm -hmm. one, uh, um, uh, how will I say it? My number one advice or what is working for me, like Mommy Fechi said, what works for you might not work for me. But collectively, Absolutely. if Oyoyo said this is working for me, Owadia is, is working for Owadia, is working for Susan Herbert. I can say, okay, let me apply it to my home. It might work. You understand? That's mm. why at times I would like to tell people, this is how I'm doing my things. Like yesterday when we were talking on my show, we're like, you know, you don't really literally need to just tell your husband, hey, go bring me water. Oh, please, mm -hmm. hey, baby, can you, please, you must add that, please. You understand? Like in my own case, if my husband helped me to pack clothes from the from the rope, hey, the way I will praise him here, eh, that praising him alone will make him want to climb mountain for me. You understand? Complimenting so, every little as, thing. As, every little thing. Some of us, we women, my gender, I say with me two way they talk, so me don't even understand myself. We'll be very, very difficult for she. But by the time <laughs> we come, they put our head down. Who's yes, so you 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 is laughing. <laughs> we did very that, difficult. So you know, you know this, uh, this thing you talked about uh, about being uh, you know great uh, gracious or grateful when mm -hmm. uh, you're asking for. And I, I just said in my mind, if you be like say you carry your your luggage, come live with my husband because that man will never ask you for anything without saying please. Uh -huh. Susan, eh? the man embarrassed me. Finish. Yeah, you know, waiting be embarrassed finish when I for a newly married, you know. Uh, okay, can you get me? Uh, can you help? Uh, so he was every day when he's is his own turn to say it, he would say, Please, can you help me with, with water? And after saying please, he would tell you, Thank you. Thank yeah, you. <laughs> so, so, so you, can, you cannot me. say you won't go. <laughs> I learned, no, oh, even my first child, eh. My first child cannot take anything from the house, whether in the fridge or in the kitchen or from the pool. Without say, mommy, can I please? Can I? Yeah. Please. And then she's now the one teaching the small one because she the learned from one. her father. Yeah. But most mm. of us never had that experience. That up. experience, exactly. You, you understand? understand? Yeah. So now that you, we people are talking about it, it will really help them to understand and change the consciousness that, oh, wait, to. Oh, it's no must he does that for me. I have no. to say it nicely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So 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 many of us they think say now nah, we're right, being that now nah, our husband is mm -hmm. support. No, you understand. I I share one waiting happened to me for 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 my live stream one day, you know. My elder brother, I, I did something wrong to him and he called me, was insulting me, you know. I kept quiet. I don't allow this guy insult me, finish. I can't say, bros, you don't talk, finish. He say, yes. I say, but you know, say, I don't be small picking again where you go just a curse like that. Mm -hmm. Now say, my son is a level. For me to even curse him, I get to get good reason. You know, we get this, uh, we get this uh, entitlement, say, na me, or na me, it's supposed, it's supposed, it don't spoil so many things. Yeah. You understand? So as I tell him, he was still like, yes, they, they, they. so the wife now took the phone as we were arguing. And I told the wife, I said, even if he not respect me as a woman, I don't be somebody wife now. I don't be somebody mama. You understand? That thing I've done on him that, oh, though she's my younger sister, she is under somebody. Any respect I'm giving to the husband, I have to give it to my younger one. You understand, but before then, he was like, Okay, because I say you don't grow now, no fit cause you, I don't fit tell you what you do wrong, you know. So, what am I trying to say? These things of he must do, and I see you, you or me be the man, or me be the one. We should put it aside when it comes to marriage, <laughs> commitment, sacrifice, sacrifice, because these are two different people coming together. There is no book for successful marriage, Joe. I say it all the time. The mm -hmm. only thing. 
no book. The only thing you will just do is, okay, this guy is coming from a different background, then bring him up in a different way, and you, maybe now inside market, they will bring you up. And these are two different <laughs> people coming together that, to come very and Very true. Yes, very so true. This, because you think, yeah. think upbringing, some men, they are upbringing different from our upbringing. So we exactly. women, most often, we they expect the man to react and treat us the way when we take grow up. Well, well, exactly, you understand. They miss them up. You get them. Okay, what am I trying to say? This not the, the, this not two people where they come together. They are bringing another soul to this world, and those people will be their mirror. They are looking onto us. Okay, by the time you they do that, yaga yaga, bo ba bo ba. What are you teaching those those children? That is where endurance will not now come in. Patient, after sacrifice of okay, let me sacrifice my character, make this thing for work. Now we're coming at yeah, you're welcome. Now we're Thank coming you. at okay, I want it to work because of my children. Communication is another big thing when my when. If you want your home, your marriage to be successful, don't be that woman or don't be that man that when your partner wrong you, you go to Thailand, waiting for the day you will explode. You be dynamite. Mm. <laughs> Once they offend you, just say it out. Let it go there. When when I when when me and my husband we started dating and he's still working for us today, we know they let our anger they go sunset. That is why when I tell people say even if me and my husband quarrel, if he pre crazy, I go I go knock him, I go sit time my face. You, know, and chop. you understand? Because I know say, that <laughs> anger not go reach the following day. You get? We don't already program ourselves like that. That once I wake up in the morning. Maybe we not talk before we sleep. In the morning, if I not greet her, my husband will tell me, "Good morning, baby girl." And my 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 obligation are to respond. You understand? And it has been working for us. Then, if I don't respond, we don't. It we don't. We will now want to talk about what happened yesterday, so that it will not happen again. We know the bottle up, and it's really really working for us. Mm. When people see me and my husband, they will say, "Ah." Where I will not take, I will not take the one. My 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 mother-in-law told he told me one thing before she passed on. She said, "I'm leaving my my son in a very good hand." I can't say, hey, "Why you they talk like that?" He said, "Because he don't test me and my husband so many times without us even knowing." He he will come and bring a topic before me. Me and he go discuss him. He go to discuss now with me like saying a daughter and mother will make my husband not here. He will carry that same topic. He will go and discuss it with my husband, telling the husband, telling my husband that ah, this uh, this thing with me and you they talk. I not still say make you involve your wife. Oh. But at the end of the day, he, he will not find out that we are speaking the same voice. Mm. Are you getting it? He, he will find out that any we are waiting for us this thing. Now waiting his own talk. Now he needs to talk for that passage. So he knew that they were they were they were we were compatible. We reason alike. You understand? So with by the time mm -hmm. the man they go Sokoto, by that time you say they come from Sokoto, that marriage will always is to, they will always be quarry. A, a clash. No you understand? No compatibility, no, compatibility, no compatibility, you know? So that is my piece of advice. I'm not saying my, my home is a perfect one. Though. Like, mommy, that example where uh, mommy Fechi talked just now. Like, my home, that kind of thing, nothing happened. You understand? Because now there, if I just, if now the food where my husband no not want to make I take sad or something, with in look for her, I already don't know. Say, hey, this man not be waiting, he wants to be this. Immediately, those people left. I will start apologizing. He not go reach to quarry. You understand? So, you don't feel cash or say we can't they misbehave. When one they fuck up like that, we they always quick read each other expression. Say, oh, when my husband, mm. when I get home now. I call I call my husband. I call him everybody where they follow us. No say I they call him my sunshine, my sunshine. But the day when mm -hmm. he go just call me for phone, I, I answer and say, Daddy Ryan, what is it? He go no say there is fire in the mountain. Or the day when he go call me, go say, Hey Susan, where you day? I'll say, Hey, baby girl, don't fuck up. I will know. I, I know with the tune, I don't really know. Say I don't do something. 
You understand? So make we try to understand each other's. You know the topic we, we dealt with uh, we dealt with yesterday on my platform is why are marriages breaking? The rate yes. where marriages stay they break is too much. And because it's too much, a lot of people when they enjoy their marriage, when you're seeing it, they will say, now scan. They, they not go yes. say to the meeting, you are really enjoying it. They go say, I beg you, then they pretend it's real marriage is sweet. If only you know as he had, if if only you know how you go fit take a uh, uh, take and part. Like mommy Fetchy talk just now. Say if you use your children, take do shield a uh, shield that's take cover up for the marriage. Once those children come out, that marriage will expose. And that is why you can't talk. Say uh, uh, after 40 years, why are they separating? Because something they cover up, up all this why. You know? Mm. So make I give a chance to my fellow women talk. Okay. Wow, thank so, you so much, yeah, Ma. But welcome. only there to you get uh, ministry okay. where you will handle here on this okay. same matter. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. Let me welcome some people here. Um oh your your sword, one your ma before you go on, okay? Please. Uh, and okay. James Gibby, give you welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Uh all be dear. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, everyone, pretty happy. I appreciate you all. Please, guys, kindly turn the stream up and share out if you can to your community. This is what we are discussing today. And Susan about it just finished talking and giving her bit, and she's still going to talk about this. Like, more juicy part is coming. So I appreciate you all for your patience here. Yeah, we're looking at the essential secret of marriage and successful marriages. If they are destiny, if, if it's by destiny, by law, or if it's something two grown adults will have to work together on to in order to achieve that success. Oh, your your sword, let us hear you. Welcome, getting it right with Olivia. Thank you so much Queen, for coming. Thank you so Why, much. Man? Yes. In I'm the course here. of grooming, did you do one? Can you confess more for us? Can you confess more? I beg it's 3 p.m. my time. So <laughs> does it matter? It does As matter. Soon as it, time matter. No matter, oh, she just they surprise me now. I wonder, oh, I wonder, oh, my question I ask. Thank you. <laughs> fondant and pastry, and okay, fondant, fondant and pastry cake design ideas. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's hear you want your man. All right, I will start by saying that Susan and Mommy Fetchy they really made vital, you know, points that people should take home with because, yes. um, there is no marriage. You know that that you say they have not had one or two hiccups. You understand, and then the ability to solve it, to discuss and deliberate on the matter, and then continue loving each other. That is the the core of that relationship. Uh, in siblings fight, you understand, siblings quarrel, yeah. but they don't yeah. they don't cut off ties. They continue to love each other. Somebody yeah. might tell me that blood is thicker than water, but I tell you. Marriage is very close to blood being bitter than what being thicker than water. Then yeah. again, we all know there is no manual, man, no manual book anywhere on earth about how to make marriage work. Not so all. what works for you might not work for A because Absolutely. B and A are not the same letter. And then the moment you start mm -hmm. realizing that and then start taking focus off from you know, the so-called um, my role model or this or people you look up to mm -hmm. as the yardstick for your own success, your own marital success. Social media role models. Yeah, absolutely. That will be a good way to start. Um, why am I saying this? The people you look up to, you don't know if they were just finished fighting and then put powder on the face to come and smile in front of the car uh, camera. <laughs> you can't, you can't, honestly, you don't know. That's true. So if you can be able to tell yourself, I mean, this thing for the long uh, haul, you understand? I mean, this thing for forever. Unless if you're making up your mind, I just want to answer uh, Mrs. MRS. Some people are entering into marriage. I just want to answer that are now married. And that is their own motive of getting into marriage. And somebody with that kind of motive, there is no way you'll be telling this person that <laughs> work on a successful marriage, the person will listen to you. Because she has fulfilled that obligation. I want to be called somebody's wife. Whether I quit the next day, I don't care. After all, as I go, Martha, I don't answer me mm -hmm. as a married person. People have that mentality. But yes. For a marriage, yes. For a marriage to work, 
you have to understand, okay, I came from a different background. This person is from a different background, but we want to team up as one force to make it work. When I married my husband, I realized that this man will kill you with please. And uh, I've said it in somebody's uh, LS before, maybe my own ladies of Hot Topic LS. The last relationship I had before I got married to my husband, the guy knows that he say please. The guy knows that he say I am sorry. And there is no mm -hmm. way you live with another human being and you will not want to hear that when you're offend offended. You understand? So this one, to get water from the ple uh, fridge, they will tell you please. To open the uh, car door, you know, honey, hold on, let me open it, please. You know, everything is done with please. I was like, okay. Uh, I had to start tuning down because I was coming from a place where please was never said. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I had to start changing the mindset, understand yeah. that this person is very courteous. This person mm -hmm. is very polite. This person yeah. is very civilized in, in his brain and mind. So you have to find a way to work with this person. Exactly. Don't, don't bring your brash behavior, you understand, to a relationship mm. that is already very, very soft. You now come with, whoa, 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 whoa. It doesn't work. Oh, oh, yo, yo. You know, like what you are saying now, some people will say, this is who I am. Accept me the way I am. This is how I was brought up. You can't no. change me. No, no, you have to. Because for the sake of that marriage, even yes. if you don't want to change, adjust. Thank you. Adjustment. Thank you. Yes. That's just the, the best word for it. Ad adjustment. This is the way I was born. This is the way I was raised. Uh, host, give me a few seconds. I want to step out just a minute. Okay, okay. Getting okay. it right to me. The one from yeah, Sweet Oster. Thank you so much for coming, sweet Oster. Thank you. I think this is the first time I'm seeing you here. Thank you for joining the family. Kindly thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment so I can connect back with you if you're a content creator. Welcome. Getting it right with Olivia. Let's hear your beat and then I want to ask Mommy Susan about tips, something. Getting it right. You're welcome. Good evening. Good Thank evening. you, sis. Thank you so much, Sharon. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> what's um, wait, like uh, my co-hosts have said, you just have to know the person you are married to and uh, work together to make it work. Nobody carry manu a come or you know, you know, be follow come like my other co-host mm -hmm. said, no be follow come. <laughs> it's not by destiny, it's both of you that work it out. You can't just tell yeah. me it's your destiny. That's why it's working. No matter what you do, and it's still working. No. It, it, it doesn't happen that way in marriage. We'll keep learning every day. Another thing is for you to know the kind of uh, person you are married to. If you see that, um, oh, this is uh, what the person is doing that you feel you don't like and all that, you just have to manage it you have married that person you just need to work on it you can talk to the person say the person to down and talk about it tell the person how you feels how you feel about that particular thing that the person is doing or the character that the person is portraying tell that person that you don't like this particular stuff you don't like this you know point it out i'm sure the person is going to make amends i'm sure the person is going to change you know if um if the person shouts at you and you tell the person i don't like the way you shout at me you have to discuss it not that uh, when the person is shouting at you and you too you'll be shouting uh, not too much people in, in the same house there will be problem do you get mm -hmm. so yeah marriage is all about uh, being patient you have to be patient mm -hmm. and study what works in your marriage know what works in your marriage and continue practicing it okay mm -hmm. i know you may uh, see other couples outside that their marriages are sparkling blows on me you may admire them yes it's good to admire them but don't follow exactly the way uh, what they are doing in their own marriage that is working for them because you may go and say oh this mommy or this uh, so -so -so person um, see what they are doing in their own marriage and is working for them you don't want to apply it in your own yeah the game may change you the little happiness you are having in your home can something else do you get you guys will not yeah. keep uh, having misunderstanding every day because that is what is working in another person's home not in your own home 
So mm. it's for you to be vigilant. It's for you to be vigilant and know what, what works in your home. If your husband likes when he's talking, you keep quiet. Uh, even if he should ask you, I am asking you, you should still keep quiet. Do you get, or maybe when he's uh, angry, he's shouting, or maybe later he not asks you a question. It's okay. You have to respond when I ask you, when I ask you a question, not, not that time that I'm still talking. Uh -huh. Do you get, you know how to follow uh, your partner so that everything will be fine in your home. And again, in marriage, you shouldn't be saying, oh, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, and my partner have not done this, have not done that. No. You don't count what you have done and what your partner uh, has not done. Anybody, you can, you can. Okay, let me take for example. Maybe you can say, um, I've been the one uh, changing diapers or cleaning the children up. My partner has not been doing anything. You say I've cleaned the house. I've swept everywhere. He has not done anything. He has only uh, just uh, clean. Maybe you wash clothes. Are you counting all those things? You don't need it in marriage if you really want to have have a, a happy marriage. You don't count what you have done and what your partner has not done, okay? Know how to manage each other. That's what matters. Understand yourselves and practice what works for you in your marriage. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's it. There's a question here. Thank you very much, Olivia. Getting it right with Olivia. Um, Mommy Susan, how about it? Uh, Oyoyo's word. I think she's at the background. Getting it right. Somebody yeah. said, please, does marriage counseling, marriage books help to build good marriage? All these marriage books and the bookstores we see online, and then even the church marriage counseling, does it help to build a marriage? Um. Okay. I will say the thing is that you have to make your choice and make your decision, okay? If you read a good book on how to make your marriage work, and then you see some good lessons or some good tips, you can take those mm. good tips and try it. I remember before I got married, okay, I was reading um, The Power of a Praying Woman. I don't know how many of us that know that book, but... I have time, read that book. Yeah. The book was an eye-opener for me as a young, single girl. I read that book. Did I learn something from the book? Yes. But the thing is that if I now get married and take some of those lessons into my marriage, it might not work if the man does not have the same understanding with me. You understand? So it all depends on what you pick from it. There are some situations I will tell you that even the church them, themselves sometimes are some of the reasons why people dissolve their marriages. You understand? Yeah. In the sense that um, they will tell you that you have to listen to your pastor. Then you now go home and start telling your husband that my pastor said this is not good. That is good. This is not good. I have seen two homes, two homes, because of what the pastor was telling them that this is not good. So the man got tired at some point and said, you know what, go tell your pastor to marry you. Okay? Because I'm tired. Your pastor cannot live in his home and dictate how my own home should be run. That you know is saying? it. And these people are, the man, the man that they, they, this happened to is over 83 years old. So you can imagine for over 40 years, for over 40 years, he can't say he had a relationship with his wife. And the woman could not accept any divorce because of church. So they are still in marriage, but they don't live together and they are not having anything together. But well, because the pastor has said the divorce is not it, the, the woman is there for over 40 years. What is left? They're trying to see if they can work on at least, at least having to talk to each other. For many years, they did not talk to each other. Simply that's, because that's one is no longer marriage now. Nah. It's not marriage now, but she's still answering the name. You understand? She's because of what the pastor said and what the pastor did not say. I don't want to call the name of the church. And it also happened to my own auntie. My own auntie, her, her, her brother, told their in-law, that's her husband, to go and marry a second wife and went with the man to marry a second wife because of the same situation. My pastor said, if this is a, I, idolatry, this is a, playing worldly music, the, you know, the tradition is idol, idolatry. Mm -hmm. So those things you know, don't work well for, with people. So you have to see whatever advice you're getting. It will alone, yeah. And eh, see, you know, the sieve they used to see mm. something, see if they see it very well and see which one mm. works for you. 
I, I made mention I, I was coming from a, a relationship that never, he didn't know how to say please or how to say I'm sorry. Then I'm coming to the sharp opposite of it, that everything, oh, mama, oh, mama, oh, thank you, oh, thank you, I'm sorry, oh, please, oh. You know, I had to tell myself, wow, it's like this man was raised by a queen. That was what I said to myself. Do you understand? So now I'm passing that kind of knowledge to my kids. And they will learn. And they will run with it. Because there's nothing like polite words, kind words. I will tell you, if your word is not kind enough, please zip your ah, mouth. If you don't know Very what important. Say, don't say Very it. silent point here. Honest, because you know, uh, we talk about communication, communication, communication. Communication is not when you're screaming on top of your voice and you expect the person to listen. Mm -hmm. If you talk very loud, my husband will tell you, "Can we change the topic?" Because he hates people. <laughs> <laughs> he hates being screamed at. He will tell you that all his life he has never been screamed at. So please, can we change this topic that is taking your voice down? And again, we women should not take some things for granted. I'm talking about myself too. Your husband will appreciate you that you, you dress good, you dress well. But because you now say, okay, I'm now 10 years in the marriage, I where are they go again? They come out. Now we die here. Mm. Then you will not make up again. You will not dress nice. You tie up and be walking around the house. Then he will mm. give you go make your nails. You will not just say, leave me, Jare, after all, I'm already finish. cooking. Yeah. We Sing should finish. not. We should not. Honestly. You know why I'm saying this? Sometimes I take it for granted. I didn't know what it meant. Until last year, Christmas, I went for a Christmas. I did a Christmas video as well that time. I went for a, a family friend's place. And I now realize that we made the same kind of nails as Christmas colors. I said, wow, it's like we planned it. She said, it's so fine. I saw Nestle, it's really fine. I said, and I now said, you know, jokingly, the way we are talking, don't mind my husband, though. He's always the, do this, do this. The girl said, you should be happy. I say, uh -uh. which one is I should be happy that I always want my nails to look good? I say, eh? is that something to be happy about? She said, yes, that some of us don't get to be appreciated. You understand? Know some of us yeah. don't get to even be looked at our faces. So if you see yes. someone that like you to look good, please don't, don't abuse it. Appreciate that. And that falls back mm. on communication because he's telling you, giving you signs, telling you these things make me happy. And you're ignoring yeah, them. You're, a breaking that happens, link. You're, you're breaking that link of communication between the two of you. This is what he likes, but you're always looking haggard, looking haggard like yeah. a widow. Are you a widow? If you want to join mm. widowhood, I bet go divorce. Don't make another family. And, and, so, and some <laughs> women will say, some women will say they've had children. They are busy. They don't even have time for themselves. Nothing, nothing. We understand that, yes, children can take up time. But even if it is once in a while, just try and just make him feel, because he still wants to see that young, beautiful lady he is married to, especially if he's putting effort on himself as well. If he's absolutely. putting in effort to look good for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. All right. Um, oh, yeah, this, this, uh, this point, this point is also applicable to men because most married men they don't like looking good for their wife. They just want only their wife to be looking good, but they themselves is it that they are not good also to look good, like to dress well for their wife. It's also applicable no, to men. Trust me, any man that wants a wife to look good is a good-looking man. That one dresses yeah. well. Yes, yeah, he really takes an eyeball. Who doesn't care whether he wears bedroom slippers to a wedding invitation? Not to worry. Yeah, Anything, apart from you know, on, on one day I was telling you and Susan, my husband takes two hours to groom yesterday. You people were laughing. I said, No, be small thing. No, before he'll finish with his head, his beard, and everything, and two hours don't pass. I don't sleep for couch, they wait for this man. Me, that's supposed to be taking the time, right? So, when you yeah. see a good looking man, he wants to see something good beside him. But for somebody like me, I might not even wear earrings sometimes. I'm headed to the church. I might not even make my nails. And I know very well that this man likes the nails polished, the hands soft. But I'm taking it for granted. It's not right. And again, there are some men that they don't like the way we talk. African men. Whoa, African we're always on top of our voices. That's another <laughs> thing we should work on. And I'm also guilty. And I'm still working on myself. But hopefully, one yeah. day, start talking to 
I'm happy. I'm happy you, I'm happy you said you are. I too, ah. every one of us is a work in progress. Yeah. But yeah. conscious <laughs> effort has to be made. Yeah, Susan, how about it? You say what, ma'am? Yeah, I say conscious effort. Another thing, we, 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 you know why we hammer on the women? Men, they don't really have much to do for us. But we, once we don't burn, breasts will go up. Don't they? 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 Don't it is well with them, but woman not can wear bra. The look will be as he gets. I don't know if you get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hey, so we get to we get to wear bra. We get to, if not get to, to say press that our belly. Then we have a lot to do. Some women they talk them all the time because I they talk with women. I talk with women on a daily basis. I talk with men on a daily basis. How especially in the women, other room. Especially yes, how in the women, other room. A woman, somebody told me one day that uh, he, she, he was honey. You know, they came, they came to me that he was honey, and he actually, now the man even dragged the wife to to call my live stream. You know, so they decide to report the case to me. So he said he was honey, he wanted to make out. So his own this thing was okay. Since he don't follow this woman, twelve they don't gather cool because whenever he want to get down, he will want to help the woman. You understand? So he was just helping the woman so that the woman not go say no later. To his greatest surprise, the woman finished. The woman just changed to nightwear. And this woman, they smell onions. You understand? Change. So you get so that kind of thing. The, the woman, they smell onions and oil. So the man, oh. the man, the man tell him now, say, ah, make it go back. He won't answer the man. He said, whether he no work when he don't they do since night, they say, make him go back. I say, bath now work. You understand? So something that thing just turned the man off. And sure. with, the, with, with all the effort we don't they do see, they slap the woman, yeah, they carry the breast. The woman don't already know say something will happen. But in no place uh -huh. go that time because everywhere they smell. You get them. So we get to it puts effort for all these things. We women. Like uh, uh keeping it up with uh, Olivia, be not be keeping it up. Something get yeah, inside to right. your head. Getting it right to Olivia said just now. Say make our, our men too get what they need for us. May get little or nothing. Man one knock you hair we did there too much. Man go he go gladly open his leg make you shave him. Come all those hair we did inside in, in, in block us if you be the type hey! of this up a uh, block us. If they, but we women <laughs> to come open there. Let me get you open. <laughs> so maybe you can't shave the aquacus for them or can't help them. Me, I love it when my husband helped me to shave. You will go see the way the clitoris will not dig with the dangle, the thing with just the carry swear. Go be like saying nah, that 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 I love it. You know, because some women they will not want to have a call open. I'll call open my leg for one man, make one man be shaved. Now, oh, they're laughing. They are laughing. <laughs> yeah, laughing in Turkish, in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> So that about it. You see, uh, this thing happens when you marry, even if the person is not the person you are in love with, like marrying the right person that you are compatible with. Man mm -hmm. where or woman where no, they date too rigid. When no, they date too yeah. serious. See, you and they talk and say marry, play and losing up. So that when the man say open, my husband, you know they shame and he go say, make I see. Make I just mention, say, ah, he get as this place be. He go say, oh, make I see. Out. Yes. So that I also say, you know they will shame. You go just say, oh, make I see. What do you want to see? Why, why you know, it's shame? very easy for him to, to open and say, oh, make I see. That you understand? Be, because, that because is, because we're be friends. We are very open. Yes. So women not feel open their leg, make no, their husband not open. Make their place. Okay, well, yeah, make, I, make I give you this example. You know I did hemorrhoid operation February. I can't go repeat yeah. them by July. So when I was carrying yeah. people on my live stream along, I couldn't tell them how it ain't heal, some part no heal. This side here, though, some of them say na bola na i tiara na i make a no heal. I know bola bola tiara na bola bola tiara. So they were not asking me how to say this thing. I said to my husband. Now my husband he go just he go say come here and see as he say the heal. I go open my hands for him. He go screen shot him. He go call the zoomer. You know. It was too ego. This one of your women go day free like that to go open yash for their man. Now, the friendship, okay, it's not going to happen to yash tomorrow. With all pleasure, you go open and for me, make I see. So, that now mm -hmm. another bond. 
if you can go extra, you understand with your yes. man or your woman, not another bond. You understand? At times, yes. I would just show men. So women cannot even tell their mouth, say, ah, ah, your mouth just get old. Me, I say it all the time, especially when you go just yes. come from work, you sleep, you come back, come the carry us out. Go, bro, you know, say the mouth closes. My husband will not come close to me. I do <sighs> for my face. I say, it for the <laughs> You know, that's not relationship. I, I go, 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 <laughs> eh? Go on, man. <laughs> okay, when you are too rigid in a relationship, it go come make the whole thing tight. It go come make and they serious. Oh, relationship supposed to be very, very just like the relationship you have with your girlfriend, your your your, your boyfriend, free. Because when you are with your girlfriend, you say everything. So when you come there with your husband, you don't feel say anything. You say everything. Really? You discuss everything. You know, so now what me see you may they have little to take care of for us than we we women we get a lot to take care of a lot mm -hmm. a that's lot true. to take care of you know so that's just it you get this way you get this way so I go trash for live stream today she got their background there she know she know one show her say she did background Eh, the husband they tell and say, you know they give me now life. I touch you for life trip. If I touch you, you go run. At least even if now I say go and give one round. I they tell her go and give one round. She say ah now lie. I know they do. I they try now. I they try. The husband they dead background. They tell and say now lie. You know they try. You know they try. <laughs> you see, uh, you see. Yeah, but, 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 but make make the man make the man fair. No, why she know they try? Has she been like that since they got married? No, she does say. She does say. We were laughing there. She does say. Ah, now her picking say she don't get very tired. Say her picking need to her picking need to feel her body. I go tell and say. Ah, I tell the man. Say, I say, carry the picking. Go lock her for one room. Collect your wife. Picking. Chop. Then they take the picking this gas. But they don't let the as picking as put as under. Uh, they know they they, they <laughs> know they, they take picking cover. <laughs> Not be picking at all. She be very tired then. Now wrong with that. So now wrong. A, a, a lot of people, a lot of people, then they I say, like that's why I was asking: Is this something that we deliberately work on, or is it by law? Because you see that, like sometimes when it comes to this bedroom matter. There are some couples that eh, are very compatible. Like you go yeah. just you by yourself, you go to thank God, say, ah, if to say I don't marry this man or I don't marry this woman, hi for be for bedroom. That one I love, I've been a something where two of them can't reach agreement, can't begin to enjoy. Because no, somebody no. like me, I they enjoy them and I they thank yeah. God daily. I enjoy them because so I don't meet people where we say as zero, and I so I just yeah. thank God say no be them I end up with. Believe me, yeah. you understand. Yeah. So sometimes, ba, I, on this bedroom matter, sometimes lock and consciously working on it, they jump together. Yeah, lock, you know what I go. You know what, yes, you know what I go tell you. Uh, my my host, uh, spice it up. Some eh, not be not be so they be before. Some it's either their husband trained them to come love them, or some their wife trained them to come day like that, or some yes. they don't reach there before they come. It can't just be as together. that they know they get the vibes again. You understand? It depends. So we may just they will just be active. When I say knocking, they did active sexually before, but they can't marry their husband can't do their sexual life for them. You go see God men with the artists before. They go come see woman. It go just dull in sexual life for them. So now it they happen for some like that. So like me, I was praying because this thing I'm waiting. I love to do since I just test Bola since sixteen years ago, thirty years ago. Hey, I did knock with. I did knock with with pleasure. I did. I did. I, I, I was, I was saying, yeah, I was sharing one of my experience. Make a, make a share for your live stream. Oh, okay. Make a share for your live stream. <laughs> no, 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 I can share. Now for share, 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 share this man. You can get it, okay? Oh, okay. You can see that buckle up. Oh, you're yeah, you. Yes, so, yes, my dear. We they, we they hear you for background, though. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> so let us, let us. I was doing school run, so I now got my phone got cut off. I said, okay, let me just pick my child. I will come back. Okay, okay, okay yeah. So let that about us, it. Continue. Make I share this. Wait, my so, 
One, one second before you share it. One second, please, ma. Being a carer with case, welcome so much, ma'am. Nzubechi, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate everyone. Thank you, guys. Please kindly thumbs up, okay, and share out. I hope you guys are enjoying this conversation. Drop your own, drop your opinion in the comment section or in the chat, okay? Thank you. Mama Susan, how about it? I'm so excited about this. Ahmed Fatih, thank you so much. Uh, we are hearing you, ma'am. Okay, so I said I started since I started knocking since I was 16. I'm 46 now. That's that's 30 years ago. The things still they do me for body like the first time. So you that, understand? Wait, wait till you talk. I said I don't been knock for 30 years. <laughs> wait till they happen, yo yo. Oh yo, you're waiting now. Maybe you people wait, wait now. Sister, no wonder you submit the thing well, well. I said I don't go for private lessons. You better go and pay for a tutorial. Oh yo, you go and pay for special class. <laughs> you know, so I, I did I get body for this thing right from time. So I share one of my story for TikTok. That day topic now. When will it be your em most embarrassing moments when when you they knock or then they knock you? You know, then we, we small now. The guy will not be the guy, the guy with this virgin me. My, my mindset we say he knows a bit drunk. That was why it's so painful. So I ran from the guy. So I can't meet somebody that can be able to, you know, talk me into committing sin. The guy the, the guy talks me into doing it. So that faith too, they are just reaching house in Mama Day House because now if your mama and your papa don't if mama don't go work, if father, if, if father don't go work, now with a knack. I just go that day, may I knock? Because you know, say if you knew start this thing, but you they sweet you, you want to go knock, you mm -hmm. want to go and do it, you know. So I went to their house that day. Hey, mama not go work. Mama day house. That's how I want to knock today. Well, we can't carry, we can't they go. So the guy now dragged me to one completed building. Was like, let's do it here. I me mean, never do for one completed building before. He said, let's do it here. Now that we're going to do it. So I go for my body and I say, no. Now that day be the first day where I start doggy. I just come on leg. You know that kind of doggy now. <laughs> what are they now? That's just one never keep so. <laughs> so I just carry my pants. I don't come on one leg. <laughs> I go for me for completed building. I just carry one leg come out for the pant like that. You know, you will not off everything. You just off only one leg so that you can be able to spread it out. Make it enter, make uh -huh. it hear the You know when you are busy, ta 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 from behind, your head will be scattering. I just did that. Ah, and the hear the guy they do pa pa pa. All of a sudden, the guy come they do one like slow motion. He can't stop. I don't know say one guy just come from our front. They look us. You know, <laughs> now I make the guy Oh, my dear, where your sister pick crazy with one leg for trousers and pants. <laughs> when, I, when I pick grace, the race I picked was not be say maybe the guy go beat me on it too because the, the guy now my like my senior now my senior brother friend now senior bros for area if that guy carry my hand like that go meet mama my mama i'm a gunner so i don't want i don't want to make it see me for that but because they feel say because i be like tomboy when i was growing up but they don't know say i don't deny you know so my mother will swear for me say my daughter no, 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 they don't do like boy who go even carry this one out they pity for i don't know say they don't carry me tete you get us. So. <laughs> 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 so, so, you know, I can't go wear my clothes for road. I can't go wear trouser. The guy can't go meet me from the other side. He still want to push me, go another one completely. Now, so you whistle. They don't cash off for another one. <laughs> you know, so this now, the body weight, I don't get right from time. At this second size, you know, when some people will say they're not this second size, it's because they never know where the man will touch them or how to take drum where they will enjoy circumcision. Believe me, you don't get anything to do with you enjoying your sexual life. It does not yes. have anything at all. If really you want to enjoy it, if they still talk, say, but it yes, depends it on the man, though. It depends on the man in question. The man as in from what area say if he fit make you come. Yes. If it be make no, you man, enjoy because uh, he I know say come, come, come but then they remove when they don't cut out that part, uh, it yes. is hard for women to really enjoy sexual pleasure. No, no. You, know, you know why? You know, I said one thing just now. 
I said some people they they like her. Some couple they 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 go come teach each other. You know I said it just now. Even yeah. if the man no they get that vibe, you teach if he is ready to learn. Some people they 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 go come two of them go come learn her together. Some they they one go come dodge the other one. Some they they two of them go just like him. They go come jam. You understand? Mm -hmm. So wait to make me talk. Say wait to make me talk. Say eh eh. Uh, if circumcision not get anything to do, no be only say bola day to tell you go fit take home. You understand? There are some men with this yeah. mentality that uh uh kokumba uh, for day must take pecus, kokumba must take no, there are so many women. I can say 50 percent women, they cannot come like that. But the mentality women get this say now nah, freak to day inside to talk of female come and come. No. Yeah. So women just they when you can be able to touch their nipple properly, and that part will remain. You know, say even if cleats not dead there again, there is that scar where they take commotion, where they where go still dead there. That line it go still dead there. If you know how to touch that line with the slimeness where they come between your cleats, that place where piece from the come out and your the, your vagina, there is a slimy stuff that they come out from. If you feel put out for that region, take feet stroke out to the direction where the pledge your day, you go feet come. That is why they take mm. my time to teach women. So women don't they 40 years, they never come, but they come meet me, they come. Just take your yeah. time, concentrate. You know, say we where they sabi they come so. I now, hope women me... where do they come they hear. Women <laughs> where do they come? When are they hear? They say you come, know, come, they... come, come, come. You say you know fit come, come your you come in peace. Come. Let me come my come. You <laughs> they hear you can still come home. Mm -hmm. You need play the thing. Welcome, Rosemary of Pepe. Welcome. You know we women we uh, we go we they talk say oh what was I even what with I we won't talk one very important thing just no now. you so, you okay. explain the coming so women when they pick come for even after a long time if they begin come yes but there there's one thing I wanted to just say get one point where I won't just make just now don't forget oh, oh god I have to just cut mm -hmm. hey, it's not a problem so you understand. Me and you now, it did very easy for us to come. We'll say, oh, come, oh, oh, I want come, oh, I want come. But scientists, they talk and say, coming now one of the hardest things for women. That's 75% of women, they knock without coming to orgasm because it's a very difficult thing. It's not left for you to know what suits you. So women don't feel come for where noise day. You need all the concentration for you to come. But some women, they don't know. Now there you go see man go the knock and go they play music. When I know their studio, Nipo, where from they come? I will not listen to that music. Really? <laughs> Let's knock with that music. So it, it now waiting you like. Now waiting you go, you know, say go fit go well with you. Now go fit make you come. So people without that music, they're not go still fit come. You understand? So mm. it depends. It's not left for you to be able to read your body to know what will make you come and what will make you not to come. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, so yes. that is it. So that's my small experience. So when I just start to the knock, <laughs> honestly, honestly, you know, you know, you know, we finished me fast. Now, when when you say the person wants to knock, he wants to drag you back. Hey, I don't I go to that. I have to be me and you. You don't even know if the brother is still following us. You are pushing me to another because the guy never come to <laughs> this time. But let me tell me not do again. I've been crazy like this, like this all my life, and I can't still marry husband yeah. with the crazy with when it comes yeah. to bed matter. You understand? So he he is what like my husband will say. We go say I don't know why people are shy to talk about sex. If you see fly, you'll see two of them bump, then they make love. A eh, 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 dog this street. It's, it's a common thing. You understand? You why can't you say it? Why can't you practice it? You know, some people will mm -hmm. just be saying a taboo. It's not. It's not a taboo. It's, when you when you're in the confines of marriage, but it's Susan about it. You know, this is one major problem, one big problem. Esther family, thank God, say you day here. This is one major problem couples are battling with today. Yeah, this no in incompatibility. In the in the bedroom, one big problem: man goes sabidu, wife no sabidu, or wife yeah. always complain. 
Then touch her, she go to complain. Some women deal with they say, I beg, even if now once in a week, hello, now what it be that now block now drink you they give me. Why mm. won't they collect her once in a week? No, now, not vaccine. Sister, I didn't not vaccine. They give me vaccine. I do. I do not have no, vaccine. May not come give me overdose. Eh? Now see the vaccine. Something that the way God created the body, if you want even they chop them every day, when they chop cucumber, the strength go day. It's the strength starts from the mind. Exactly. It starts exactly. from the mind. If yeah. your mind, if you don't make up your mind, say, mm, I beg now walk. Mm, mm. I beg I no feed one. Mm. That is a very big problem because how you think now how your body go react. Yeah, but if but if there is sickness in the body, no, oh dear. If there is sickness in the body, undiagnosed uh, uh, ailments can even hinder your sexual life. I'm talking no, about male, I'm talking about female. That, if they don't know, that one even they will not. No, the man, okay, the man, like like example, maybe low sexual libido. The woman might not just know that her libido is low. She could just she say, mm, mm. I don't get interest. Even if you can't shoot the prick for your eye, in, in body no go get her. You understand? Not until he treats that thing. Or yeah. it go boost the sexual libido. It go remain like that. So one thing for you, one thing is for you to know what your problem is. Some women just uh, inserting that thing inside their pecos, you are already giving them a very big problem because they have a scar inside their vagina that whenever they penetrate, it hurts them like that. And that mm. thing can be easily corrected. Some women, they, they experience dryness all the time that when they knock, that place they always appeal, appeal for them to go pee. Now, what? Because the kind of pain where they go receive there. So when they go don't gather all those things together, they will go say, what is the essence? When I don't want to all, all my breakers don't peel. So now one thing make you know all these things, then you know where to tackle from. Love is a beautiful thing. Love making is a beautiful thing. You don't see when you go make love finish, you go, you go look yourself for mirror. Your face go, they, it go, they shine. You, you go, they go, they glow. That in my happiness is not there. You go, they smile anyhow. Yeah, my <laughs> nothing. You go tell her, say thank you. He go be like, say dash you, <laughs> ATM card. You go say, thank you know, thank her. What did you get? Yeah, he go ease you. This this knocking way we they talk. So when you knock and come to orgasm, he they cure joint pain. All those places waste teeth. You go they want that. You waste pain, no. I try it so romanticism. Everything you want to stretch out. Be the care with guests. Now she they talk so. And it they help to boost mood. You go see your neighbor. You know, bridge you go bridge and put money. Yeah, it makes you look younger. And and when you release all those hormones. It, it, you know, you know, you know. At times, I I talk about melatonin. That's the hormone that is responsible for sleep. When the production yeah. of the that hormone is not is not a uh, a uh, uh, is not a uh, how will I say it? When the production of that hormone is very very low, with knocking you can be able to help yourself because. Because you go see at times now when you knock, the can't sleep will go take you for you better knocking or not be that knocking when they pick it or so. My sister have a teacher. Last weekend, you be my sister have a teacher. Last week, you said last what? week, make a gist to you. Eh, welcome everyone. Make a gist to Mary Queen Long, uh, Long Man. Welcome. Thank you so much. Make a gist to what you happened last week. It be like how I pass out. I don't know what you do me. I just know I wake up around 3 a.m. I call mm -hmm. the house, my husband, and say, What happened to me? Because the speed of light, what take pass out. Yeah. People like say, See, I call the house, I call the tell and say, You know, see that super person they take go. Because I know, see, I will just they finish. I just they it's end, I reach cloud nine, he sweets me. I know the yeah. next second is as if they drug me. You know when yeah. they don't give you this injection when they want to operation. You know how you slowly yeah. go. Yeah. That was how I found myself till three or before a.m. I can't ask my husband. Say, what did happen? I can't remember anything that happened when we finished making love. And he said you slept off immediately, like instantly. <laughs> instantly. Jai. It don't take me one minute. I don't know when I can go. I don't know. This one, correct holy communion. Nah, now nah, you collect. Correct one. All, all like. <laughs> 
sometimes that they like cuddling after love making, and they are they like all this small talk. Then I'll go and wash out, I'll go and wash up, and then because I like washing up and then sleeping, then we'll go just small. I think they always first sleep. But you know, sometimes the way I would take pasta, the people bless they give me an yeah, and I test here. Eh? Yeah. They just induced me. I can't sleep. Go. I can't wonder when I wake up. Now me by myself. Can't say what happened to me? That People say I pass out. Kukumba. Ha! God that bless Kukumba. Kukumba. In God this aspect Kukumba. that the have I just talked about. Now that's what you experienced last night. <laughs> God Our bless host. Kukumba. <laughs> <laughs> But say to Susie, how about I want to ask you something? I'm what here. about can you hear? Me? Okay. What about what about those people that uh, their partner their partner cannot um like um their partner does not really really do the thing well for them to get to that stage? What would they I do? I don't get it. Say the prick soft. Come out straight. See, we be we men. Come ah, out. Don't be Go na prick na pricky. Exactly. The goose na the goose. The prick Ben is soft, or in, if he raise, he go see the look grand. How it be? Now Susan be this. Talk to me as it be. We are women, okay? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like you know, say some some be said if they come, they go just do bag 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 bag. They don't go. They don't waka. And you, as a woman, you the thing you still the thing feels still there your body like you know you still want you more. never come but you never come say, and you won't come yes the woman okay. the uh, woman the woman, the the woman, yeah. the the woman never come the man don't come but the, okay the, okay. the man but the the thing man, don't it's not soft uh -huh. if he come he go just soft. Okay, that yeah. kind of thing now, like, like I they tell my people, where eh, if no be uh, if, for, for the way you say talk now, no, I know they talk say now you if it be saying that somebody don't still tell you. Okay, for that kind of thing, what is woman supposed to do for that kind of uh, uh, situation? Not to concentrate more on foreplay. Mm. You get her uh, as far as yeah. the man bola the race. If they enter, the team is say if they quick come. This quick come where we they talk so now still ta 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 ta. You come out and ta 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 ta. Maybe ten minutes mass, maybe five minutes. Uh huh. Minimum. Anything we come below that one, say so maybe you just shook it, just come and that are no normal. Maybe now P E in get. Okay, the way you they talk and I not be P E in get. Waiting I go advice for that kind of situation now to concentrate on foreplay. That foreplay now you. Then go walk on past. That's the woman. Mm -hmm. We know they could come to orgasm. You understand? Now you then go touch past. Now you then go suck in, in, in breast past. You know, there is there is some uh, nest way past that nipple. Where you be say, I they tell my women, if man just carry you, just put my for your nipple, they no, not be so. You see that that areola, that black part way past our breast. Not be the seed, though, not be that granite. Now, there, then they start from to the lip before you can hold the nipple. When you are licking all those places, your body don't they respond. All those places will come be like, say, call the cash the breast before you can put mouth yeah. for the nipple. And when you go put mouth for the nipple, maybe you'll be the woman we like or not like, maybe they touch your clitoris because not be all women they like them. Then tell him where you want him to touch you. As if they do all those ones. He don't already they work on you. He never start. And now this he and I communication from start. When I talk yes. with you, yes. we should communicate, we should talk. Then you not make the man no more yes. the man he can't come to leave you halfway. It can be very, very annoying. You know, if you fuck me halfway, I will not take it from you. I will cook for you the following day. You must satisfy me. So we go talk. So when you are not talk, when you are not telling the man. I know they come because if you come, you they leave me with the hodge, the, the the hodge of I still want to come, and I don't like it, so I want us to do it like this. If not the man where they listen, oh, he will listen and work on you. Then by the time mm. when he go come, go take reach where you want to come, he go come insert. When he go insert, you go come before he come. You get her. So yes. that's and apart from that, eh? 
apart from that, eh, like if you do, if if the woman know they like me, they use hand. Make the man using cucumber, eh? Use and they take massage the 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 People like they have, then they take paint house. You just they take yes. a paint and go up, go down. Use and they rub paint and paint. gently. As the woman begin the wet, make you still use the wetness. They rub the, they rub the around the clitoris, if around the, you, the vulva area. They prepare area. you down. Yeah, go they prepare yes. you down. So mentally, if the man, just yeah, if, if not the man wake on the leak plate is advantageous to you. You understand? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm coming to that question. I have okay. a question to ask you again. Okay. Let, let us answer this question here, okay? Mommy Susan Habati is Olivia. Somebody said, can there be compatibility in marriage between different countries due to presence of different different culture? Uh, what do you think about that? Why not? Yeah, Ahmed is not... Yeah, Ahmed is not... Um, I think Ahmed is... From where Middle East or so, if I am not Why mistaken. Why not? They're, they're, love, love, not get language now. Mm. Why not? You can be compatible with 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 somebody irrespective of where that person come from. Exactly. Yeah. You 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 can marry. I mean, people in there. We have interracial marriage, intertribal exactly. marriage. It yeah. all depends on the individual involved. Now, one one challenge you may encounter in that is the environmental um difference, like upbringing, family upbringing. Because let's say, for instance, somebody from the Middle East, a woman from the Middle East, may not be as open sexually as someone from the uh, let's say America. Okay. So, because of upbringing, because most often times, some women are raised in a very reserved environment, in the sense that they are not uh, sexually exposed. Even when they are exposed, the, uh, issues of sex are not openly discussed. You understand? So, that may hinder a woman. So, if you are getting married to someone from another place, you study the upbringing of that person, like you study the person's um environment what is what was it like growing up in that place what is uh, the discussion of sex like you understand and then you talk to that person to know the his or her i mean her exposure towards sex and other aspects of life because sometimes culture plays a very huge role whether we like it or not culture tradition and religion plays a very huge role so if you're going to get married to somebody from another tribe another religion, or another race entirely. You have a lot of work to do in terms of investigation and communication. Because when you communicate with them, you'll be able to know how far and their mindset or their understanding towards certain issues. Because if you don't discuss this, it's not just about love. Because when you enter the room, you may discover that the way a, a woman may, may wear clothes and enter the bedroom and prefer light off. That is how she was raised. Her, that is her understanding, you know. So you cannot, re, you know, really force the woman into believing what you want or doing what you want. You just have to carefully study her and understand, or even the man. So culture, yes, can play a huge hindrance if it's not properly managed or handled or studied. Religion, race, culture interface. But I believe that when there is a will, there is a hope, uh, there is a way. If two persons, two adults are determined to make it work, it will definitely work out. If they work on it, it may, it may, it may not happen automatically because they will definitely meet, um, 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 how, how, how do I call it, walls, brick walls in every aspect of their life in terms of how the, uh, the, their religion or what their culture says pertaining to uh, some certain issues. So it may be a hindrance, but with open communication, this is where communication mm -hmm. plays a very huge role. With open communication, you both begin to understand yourself, your background, and your upbringing better. That will enable you open up better, you know, and make the marriage work. So it's very possible for people who are of different race to meet. And this is why most times you see a white, I mean, somebody, let's say, a, um, or you both marry a uh, black um, uh, African woman. The, uh, the upbringing what African woman gets when it comes to marriage is different from the upbringing or you both man get when it comes to marriage. So sometimes uh, the, the, if, it, if it's not properly managed, one person will be you know, seen as a slave, the other will be seen as a master. So open communication 
will really help and it will play a huge role into bridging the gap between two people from different race or different religion. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, the people's trust. This is Zubechi, welcome. Thank you so much. Mom Susan, how about it? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Hey, see super, see super, see super, see super, see super. Hey, this one they give orgasm. Hey, I want to, I want to, I want to. Hey, hey somebody help so me. Uh, yeah. Thank yeah, you. People like that one get orgasm here. Oh, what? Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Mom Susan, how about it for this amazing my chat. Thank you. God bless you. So Thank you. Uh, somebody, Olivia was asking a question. Olivia, please go ahead and ask your question again. Uh, she mentioned something. I've even forgotten what I wanted to ask her. What I wanted so to ask her. She I said if your partner, the leak plate is advantageous to your sign. I didn't hear you. I said if the man know how to lick pecos, is advantageous uh -huh, to that uh -huh, yes. yeah. Yes, I've remembered what I want to ask. Yes. Now, what about, um, you know, not all men like uh, licking plates. What if the woman likes uh, the licking plate part and the man doesn't like it? You know, like I say all the time, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Like I say all the, the time, device is on. on. Uh, because call, call is coming into my phone. My, that's why I'm asking if you people can hear me. Yeah, we can okay. hear you. There's somebody device. 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 It's on. No, maybe it's maybe it's the call. I don't know. Let me let okay. me come back. Let me go and come back. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, you're welcome. Oh yeah, just one. Welcome. Thank you so much. Ninja daughter. Ninja daughter, I want to ask you a question. No? Uh -uh. It's not Susan about that. it. I think that the device on here. Okay, it's better now. It's not Niger, Niger daughter. daughter. Niger daughter. See the person's face. Bro. See the person's face. Now Niger daughter. Yeah. Niger daughter. This is not Niger daughter. Tell her to open the Are camera. You? Niger daughter, it is you. Open the camera. Remove, remove first. Let her, let her remove. Now I, she. I, I see me now. Which guy play could be this? <laughs> okay, okay. Go ahead and ask. <laughs> I said that every everyone has different points of view, and the smart person is the one who learns to live with, uh, live with and understand these differences. Trying to change and persuade is futile. Absolutely, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, let's hear from you, Yo Yo and Niger daughter. Yeah, oh, oh. Don't give us a contribution. Yes, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> if you can hear, thank you. Oh my goodness, we can hear you. I host. I have a, a question for Susan, but I, I don't know if she's gonna. Yeah, she's coming back. Uh, yeah, she's coming back on TikTok. Actually, a friend of mine. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. we can hear you. We can so, hear you. Yeah, I'm not. Okay, I haven't verified the information to be true or false, but they said if you're if you're eating pecos, if you're eating you get a PVC. And it, is it PVC or P P H D? Oh my god. Yes, I yeah, I think virus, yeah, this, um yeah. Uh, I've forgotten PVC. Oh my god, the name of that virus, but I'm gonna look it up and get it back. So there is possibility that you might get it from eating the bacon. So, uh, so what are they trying to sell, tell us? I've not verified the information. So anybody that has it. Oh, okay. Well, Susan, how about it? Is coming back. But the thing there is there. Now, man, where they took mark for different people, then go go carry virus. 
Man, we know they keep mad for one pecus. You took mad for Amaka pecus. You took mad for Juliet pecus. You took mad for Joy pecus. You took mad for Anakisa pecus. You they took mad for different pecus. Now that man, and they go carry disease. It just is the same thing as when a man is when a man. When a man is having, when a man is having multiple, you know, sexual partners without protection, what the, what would the man expect? Of course, he would get infected. So, any man where they took out your wife and your wife, when I go run the test, the man is, yeah, the woman is clean, you know, and she's very hygienic. She keeps her pecus very clean. If you they chop only that plate, you know, say that plate they clean, no infection. There is nothing, nothing will happen to the man's mouth. You know, will get any infection. But man, when as unless the, the, the woman has infection that is not treated, unless she has, and of course, when a woman has infection that is not treated, the smell will be there. The percus will change smell, it will have a, a, a very awful smell. You understand? The pH level will change. And of course, even there will be some discharge. So that percus, once a man noticed that the percus already is infected. Yeah, and that the pecus is bringing out discharge. There's no need putting the mouth there. Even the cola no supposed to enter there again until the infection is treated. Until okay. it's treated. Nice. So personally, okay. I believe say, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're, you're yeah, go on. answering that question at least, um, uh, clarifying things because oftentimes women we swim a lot, and you know one of the easiest disease for a woman people or from toilets uti uti infection from public toilet from not cleaning yeah. well and and then so those things can cause hey, i can't remember that that virus the virus is the one is it not is, human is it not a human papillo papi is it papi yes. whatever yes human so papi, that they, where virus. you did come after this question i don't forget the human the <laughs> human papi 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 whatever <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know the one you are talking about. I know it. But the trick is, eh, once a woman is clean, eh, nothing like disease, nothing will make the man mouth eh, swell up. I don't see video of, I saw one video of one guy with swollen lips. He said, I'm like, going go suck. And I make his lips blow up. I don't think, <laughs> the thing is, how, how many people they suck? You go and chop different pecus and you expect your mouth to remain the same. It cannot remain the same. <laughs> the, the guy that was doing it is one MC in Nigeria. He was doing the campaign. I don't know if he was paid or if he was just making a TikTok. He said, uh, for for Angelina, where Sabi uh, do microphone? If you they sing with my microphone, you know what it means now. Uh, you they, you they yes. microphone. You they chop microphone. Just know there is a throat cancer. So there was nothing the guy did not say. I said, okay, I'm going to research on this to find out. Uh, throat cancer it. day. Oh, oh yo, yo. If, yes, it's HPV. Human papillaris virus. Yes, yes something. HPV. Yes, human. Not the pap uh, yes, papilloma virus. Thank you. What's the name of God will bless you, this woman. Eh? Human, human papilloma virus. I know yeah. say human, I know say virus. But now the papi, I don't know the complete. What is a papilloma? <laughs> being a papi. So <laughs> that, that virus is a serious one because even here they get they get kids vaccinated from age ten. You start taking your kids for vaccination for that virus to prevent it from coming. Mm -hmm. So we know that it is existent in human body. You understand? Yeah. So if it happens to be a very bad one that the person has, and the person is chopping the bakus and singing the microphone, hmm, mm. I don't know. But that, like, like I said, eh, any infection, and eh, the moment one thing, there's one thing God did for the vagina, for the woman's vagina. The moment the pH level changes, eh, you know something is wrong. Yeah. You know that something has interfered. Like God made it in such a way that even on the very first day, second day, you will know something is. You know, some women are very careless. They know even when they, even when they feel changes, they ignore it. It is that ignoring that thing, not treating it, not knowing. You see, space, thank you for coming. Ignoring that changes in the pH level. Once it changes, you will get a signal. It will alert because why God did it in such in, in that way so that. 
Nothing goes into the body without you knowing. Yeah. Nothing goes into the uterus without you knowing. So it raises alarm. It is when you ignore it as a woman that that thing will now stay silent and then begin to eat up the body and it gets worse. So but that is why we are here preaching. Men, instead of you jumping around, you go and get married. Instead of you digging every muddy water you see, go and get married and test, run a test and be sure you are faithful to your partner. Women, be sure you are faithful to your husband because if you go and bring anything outside, up two of you, same thing goes for the man. You go out and go and choke anyone, anyhow. You bring infection, it is the two of you that will pay the price at the end of the day. It's not only the woman that will be affected. You, the man that brought the infection, you will still suffer it. Because before mm -hmm. you know, Gola will start dying. The Gola will start dying. So it is very important. Once a woman is clean, please chop and chop and wash plate. There is nothing wrong with washing plate. Yes, so. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> Come under your title chief cap and keep it one place and give it to her because it's marriage. <laughs> hey. Come on, it and put your head there. Do you oh, speak about her? Yes, so we after it, we are your cap back. <laughs> now, if you finish, you wear your cap, wear your beach, wear your necklace uh, and yeah, everything. Welcome, and, we are, and, and come out like a dog. Nobody will know. Unless you go and tell your friends that you just finished talking to a goose. Nobody will know. Eh? Or you're your fellow fans. Who talk about things that first thing has to come and explain this, this human papilloma virus very well. <laughs> there are so many things there are so many things that we are getting wrong okay and this is why we look at other people's marriage nemuza i'm very innocent it's not me nemuza believe me it is these people this day look at them all of them here in the chat guys you are all me thumbs up oh if you know you've not giving me thumbs up please give me a thumbs up don't forget why you welcome thank you so much the people's choice you see space Rosemary of Pepper, thank you so much, everyone in the chat. If you know you are owing me thumbs up, you could drop it now. Go and drop my thumbs up, you don't go with it there. Don't go with it. There are so many things, eh? and that is why we look and begin to compare our marriages with other people's marriages. You have to be the one to make your own marriage work. There is nothing like love comes with the other room, in the sense that you may meet a man that is very, very good, and you, you are fire fire brand in the other room. That one is not God destined that it's for you to make a fire on. But every other aspect, you have to make it work. Then you break it. You need a praying wife. You should be a praying man. Eh? Is it your, your, your nephew? Olivia, can you hear me? I can't hear Olivia, you. Olivia? You can't hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I can oh, hear you okay. now. Okay, that's a there's a sound coming from your end, so I was wondering. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's better now. So, instead of you comparing, why don't you sit down and look at that thing that works for you? Because what may work for you may not work for me. Eh? It may not work for me, and what may work for me may not work for you. There is no perfect marriage. No perfect. Me and my husband, you don't know what I would all fight before it go work. You don't know. And when we come back, how I resolve my differences may be different from how you resolve your own differences. My own, my own, how to resolve my own difference? People say, I go pantless. I begin to position the bomb of give him any, any, anywhere to, dis, you know, to distract him. Thank you so much, uh, You understand? It may be how I resolve my own. Yes. Your own may be to sit down and discuss it and iron it out. Another woman's own may be to do shakara and not even give the man. They're walking around the house almost naked. And then the man will be the one chasing and begging. What works for you? Some people will say it is not the ideal way. Olivia, can you help me mute your side? Sweetheart. Olivia. I can hear your network is really disturbing. It's fluctuating. Okay, can you just help me mute your mic so that the sound you understand? Okay, yeah, thank you. There's no noise, I don't make, know why. Uh, okay, from here, it's making um as if you are doing something, you know, as if you are doing something. Mm -hmm. So, 
Now, uh, at the end of the day, some people may say it doesn't work that way. Like a woman should not settle her difference. Like when you have misunderstanding, don't settle it using sex or anything. Don't use uh, the bedroom to settle it. It may be something that is working for one person. A woman may be using it and is working for her. Maybe that is the love language your husband understands. So it's not everything we read and we watch that may work. Okay, thank you, ma'am. It's not everything we read and, or watch that we apply. What may be working for you, if it's working for you and you know it is working for you, maintain it. Don't copy. It's not a copy and paste thing when it comes to marriage. Another man may like the wife being very naughty in the bedroom and being very wild in the bedroom. Whereas another person may want the partner to be a reserved woman. Is it working for you? Yes. If it's working for you, keep it up. So long as the two of you are in agreement and it is not one person that is dictating everything in the marriage. So you may see your friend giving testimony of, oh, how amazing her marriage is, how her husband does this, the husband washes the place, the husband does the laundry, the husband sweeps the house. You know, I've seen a lot of couples say it is very easy, like they don't even need to tell their husband to pick up the broom and sweep. And the husband will pick up the broom and just tidy up the house. If you want to go and implement it in your own marriage, see you see crashing, you your marriage will begin to crash. So if your husband is not the type, you can then apply communication and talk to him on how he should help you out with the chores. Success in marriage is dependent on the couple involved, on the couples involved. Those you envy work on their marriage. So okay, those you envy work on their marriage so you work on yours understand your spouse and find out how they okay how they want to be loved thank you uh -huh. Host, I'm so welcome sorry. back just, ma yeah i just picked the call i'm so sorry okay no it's okay um oyoyo was asking a question on human papilloma virus, virus they're saying yeah. are from Pekus. If they now nah, people where they chop cucumber and chop bakus now, nah, then they catch them. So no, I was no. giving my own layman understanding no, uh -huh, no, and no. telling them that now, nah, man, where they chuk chuk mark for different people, yeah. then go people catch them. If your wife yeah. is clean and she doesn't have infection, yeah, mm. HPV can be contacted uh, mostly uh, during sexual sexual intercourse. You know, not be oral, yeah. not be say, not be so to say, say you know, feel contact them with aura. Yes, if you contact mm -hmm. her, maybe injury, uh, the bola injury day, and um, your mouth injury day, who we'll get them, you can't do a mm -hmm. blood job, you know, peeling and all blood, touch blood. Yeah. You get them, but no be to leak because you go take get HPV. No. Human papilloma mm -hmm. virus gets different, different grades, like I like mm -hmm. I explained uh, for my for my channel most of the time. Then gets rich about more than a hundred different kinds of human papilloma virus, you know. So about about 10, about 10 or 15 inside Nango can't turn to full-blown cancer because he does not have a cure, it will just be there and you know they show for face, you know. So no be no be to leak to leak. To leak a uh, woman, Bekus, Bekus, with sickness day. Uh -huh. If he can't give you sore throat, if he give you different, mm -hmm. different things for your for your mouth, you know, some people will say, ah, mama, uh, we may where they leak Bekus, their mouth they smell. The last woman, I ah. say, say, sister, now be say your total they smell. Because for that man, don't leak your Bekus finish, he might come the smell. Now, what did he get from your total? Now, they give you back. So if you're mm -hmm. if you're it you means say your toto they smell. So go take care of your toto, you know. Mm. And, and I tell so many people say our toto clean pass on people mouths, but they know they they know they won't get them. They know they won't believe them. Bekus cleans itself is neater than so many people's uh, mouths. You know, some kind of bacteria yeah. has made them out. So if you take and go lick bakus, now you go give the bakus disease. Not the bakus go give you disease. Mm. You know? So licking of flake, <laughs> like uh, keeping up with Oli Olivia asked, say, uh, what about if you want the man not come want? Is is optional. You know, if first person eat waiting in a, a no one eats, you know. I don't force mm. people. 
If you like to lick in creek, lick them. If your quakus is neat enough, you go see and one day go kiss your stomach. You go wait till they drive so many men off now. The smell where they come out from there. When you go kiss your yeah. stomach, kiss all those your lap, keep kiss all those. You see and one day go just kiss on top of your clitoris before you know what in the apple. Don't go down there. You don't put them out. You don't pull out, but if you are the type of woman that wants that man to lick that place, they remove hair now. Hair food there. You you want you want you want begin to rasta there. It's some women. I swear. Media, you, know? you know, you know, because of what I do on social media, some people I will tell them say, take the picture of your toto, not show your face. I want to see as the toto be. Especially all these people will get hair hair, hair pairs. They call it hair pairs. What? All this uh, vaginal wax and all that. I I tell them take the picture of your toto. Since you don't fit, tell me what it be. Let me see if it's syphilis, if it's herpes, or any other. Uh, uh, it's called uh, not be vaginal seizures. Me, I not call speak English. Where I know all those uh, <laughs> diseases where they do vagina. So when some women go open their toto, take a picture for me. Me as a woman, I go they turn off. If you see her. Uh, if you see her, the young will come go grow rich inside the anyash. It go come skills. So for woman, for man to put man for that kind of thing, even if you don't want barban, give her low cuts, give her mohawk style. Mohawk. Mohawk. Give her beautiful style. That when the woman, the man will see the style, it go won't leak. You don't need to force and make it leak. And so, and another thing, the nest will pass in between your two legs. That's the big toe and the one where they near her. That the same thing go past your clitoris. So if that man be the type where no one lick your quakus, tell and make it just they kiss that place for you. You go see and say your quakus go they respond. You understand? It's enough. You know. Another thing. So some women, eh? They always use tissue. Are they talk? See, tissue no be the best thing to use. Take wipe bum bum. Even if you use tissue wiper, still use water and mild soap. Wash the bomb bomb, make the bomb bomb no get me because if poo poo see day for bomb bomb small, even if uh, it, it don't clean no bed, the, 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 the as it don't rub for day, the smell must day day. So even if you clean with tissue, wash with water, especially if you get my soap, yeah, especially yes. because of course we can't get skin outside our our anus. Maybe via mm. a strong sheet, or maybe yeah. you know, I give you that a uh, stana. Uh, internal yeah, hair oil for the skin go come yeah. out. Know how you go mm. clean those skin rich, the sheets go still there, there. You understand? So you yeah. use you use wipes or you use tissue, then later you wash it with water. That are the best yeah. because this water and my soap. Yeah, this especially if now strong people where the Congo rub everywhere. As yeah. you don't wipe and test, use water, carry small soap. Yeah. Now for women where they want me then give their hair to make their yeah. chalk bakers for them. That place has to be orderless for the man yes. to want to put it to, to want to, yes. Yeah, dollar on different dollar stand. So your mouth will not go down. But you see, if you they bring nose, I mean mouth come woman because your nose they they very close to the anus. Yeah. So you yeah. woman feel smell, I mean man feel smell and more past woman said, both men and women always use soap. If you like, if you know you enjoy, you like head all the time. You want woman to give you head, you want man to give you head. Wash that pekus well. Wash the, the bum bum well. And then the pekus, like we always talk about mom Susan about it. No, the deep hand. Wash the, if they affect the pH level, no, the deep mm. hand. If they make her yeah. smell. Yeah. I see one woman for Instagram. They talk same. Man, woman, I that you know you you mentioned something like that. Once I can't go Instagram, I can't go see the woman. They shout and say, "Man, people know they chop bakus. Say if they smell bakus, where they smell like this, you can't want man go to head." I watched that yes. video. I can't even say I be say, want, I be want to wear the video. I be want just Bini ask her at both you were here. Which now be saying to now Bini she now Bini she be. I know one. I know for one mention to try. They they kill that for your toto where, where you will just the emphasize like this is toto with the smell toto with the if you own the smell I don't know the smell. The way where she oh, they yes, talk and the way where she they toto. Eh eh. The way she they talk and you go to say man got they will come out from the. I'm tired. What is the point this? She even you know the smell. Like your gynecologist tell you if you reach us wash and which means go go wash and the smell. Which means that people is smelly and they are not ready to rectify it. Then you can't go give the gynecologist tell you. The gynecologist tell you say stop dipping your hand. No, they wash hand. 
You don't say make women go house, make them go to wash and even if that means something is wrong with the pecus. Yeah, and the pecus need guy. urgent treatment. Yeah, he get one guy with mm -hmm. tell me saying he gets high cheek. He said because the Dubai then day. He said because any little thing, say your wife not be like that to win the day for Nigeria. He said he can carry and come Dubai. He said little thing they upset the woman. He said any little thing, and once he don't he don't verse like this, you know, give and make us do. He said because of that, when can go get side chick for outside. He said this side chick they not can wear. He said but the problem is say anytime he lick that uh, side chick because he must get sore throat. He said he must get sore throat the following day. He said. He said he don't notice and notice. Now I cause okay, you they notice this thing. Why you see the leak up? He said because he no fit do with that in no leak. You get an ah. say, okay, make you still the leave him. If not only the knack, he said because in the very very now I say you go just bass and waiting they turn your wife off. He go say during the time we will take the quarry now. Make her just rest. I say maybe you you too hyper past your wife. Now in cause and try make on a day the same pace. If not, this cheating will still go. He said the problem be say the the girl they tell and say now only in the date. But why your own wife make us know they give and sort through the side chick on the give? I say because not be only your bola they enter there. You understand? Maybe in a what do you expect? Side chick yes. may not be your wife. Uh, side chick may not be your wife. You want them to yes. make it stay faithful. May side chick just yes. faithful to a married man? No, it not be possible. You know. So that's it. Because a lot of sickness they there where we don't even know say it did there. You understand? Mm. Like this uh, common uh, waiting I called just now. Which name of sickness where I called just now? When somebody, I, I, I said it on my live stream now. They were laughing. Somebody reached out to me and was like, ah, Susan the Baptist, I they hear you, they talk about pie. Can pie be be transferred uh, 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 via se uh, true sexual intercourse? I was like, which kind of question be that? I wanted to laugh, but later I can't. I not laugh. I don't hold myself. I say, well, now we're in no reach. What it be this? The name of this uh, STD? Ah, I don't forget. I mentioned the name just now. You know that sickness where they stay for where one. In the day mouth, in the day toto, in the day yash. You know. So now you make the woman they ask whether na pile in get. But we will come find that okay. no pile. It can be treated. You know, but if it's not treated, that thing feel ravage your kidney, your liver. It go deal with you. It go even make person wrong man. What will be the name of this disease? So that people that are listening to me can go and read about it. Mm. Ah, what will okay. be the name of? I mentioned it just now. Not not HPV. I mentioned it just now. The name not come. You know all those kind of sickness and they, they that can be tra even transmitted to your unborn child if you don't know you have it. Mm -hmm. So why doing all those random things? Why you can be able to be safe with your wife, you know, or your and husband? It, it, now, now this lack of communication and compatibility, and because you get wife, why you marry? You marry so that you go feel they enjoy your partner. Why is why do you why why did you marry? Is it just for procreation? But so have women, children. So women are not making. They are not making the marriage to be easy for some some of them who host. Okay. Some women are not making it easy for them. We know, you know and this is why we are saying this. You are looking at okay, like some men they compare. They go look at their friends' wives. They go they compare, especially you know, say men they talk as women they talk as we they talk yeah, as some men they talk. Yeah. Now some men mad they talk, then they open up to each other. Say, "Oh you don't tell why I see my wife London, oh, oh that baby, now beg oh, if I know carry her go shopping, nothing for me. Oh, if I know do this thing, nothing like for that. me. You get it's then they like talk. So why did you get married? Why you marry? You marry so that you go get companion. Yeah, there, there is this thing I always say on my live stream. There is this, there is this thing they call dutiful uh, sex and a beautiful, and beautiful. one. Is your duty to give it to your husband? He hungry, you will mm. not hungry. You give him the whole make it shook, make it poor. Then the day we go hungry, you not go be that beautiful one. We not go do, not go carry from here, go here, knock, knock, do this, do that. You understand? It is your duty to give it to your husband. And if you don't want to give it to your husband, give him a genuine reason why you cannot. You understand? 
Olufunke, no train your phone inside the toilet. He never sleep. He don't talk. He don't talk. He won't go sleep. She said, I won't go back. I still carry phone. Go just because I know one Lisa. Don't let your phone fall inside one towel. Please, guys, if you don't have me, follow me. I will definitely give you a follow back. If you love yes, what so. I do, please. If you love what I do, you don't want to miss that about tips. You don't <laughs> want to miss her. Not just for Papa Coco, but for health related issues. You see this woman. You see yes. this woman here. Now, like this, I hold her rapper. Whether she wear pants or that, she don't wear pants on. Now, like this, I hold the rapper, they drag her to do. She know they go anywhere. Thank and you. why? Because I benefit a lot from Thank her. You. Health Thank issues you. or bedroom matter, I benefit a lot. So please, if you don't have her, you are here watching me right now. Yes, yeah, so yes, yes, yes. Nemuza says she just subscribed hey, to you. Yes, yeah, so Nemuza. Yeah. The way you say they call the name, come make me fall in love with the name. Nemuza, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Nemuza, that's my that's my you. queen there. That's I my queen, you know. You That's my queen. That's my <laughs> no, queen. No, thank you. Nemo. Thank you, <laughs> you understand? Yeah, so, this thing. Yes, so, guys, please connect with her. You don't want to miss what she's doing on Whitey Street. You don't want to miss it, believe me. You will benefit a lot, especially as a woman. You have a lot. See, see this thing called marriage. Now learn with the learn every day. Yes, the one yeah. where we don't know, with the learn and hear. The yeah. one where we don't learn, we go use our, the ones who don't learn, we go practice some. We just have that to is. learn this thing. Because that marriages is. are packing up. And we are comparing, thinking marriage, is, see, there's no every formula. Day. Every no day. same formula. Every now you day. go do what you work for you. Yeah. Yes. Everyone, go and connect with her. Go and connect with her. You have mm -hmm. to do what works for you. Find out that thing that makes you happy. It mustn't be what your pastor said. It mustn't also be what your father or what your mother said. Because unfortunately, some parents will not even give you the right advice. That yeah. is the truth. Yeah. It mustn't be what your what works for you. What makes you happy? What makes your spouse happy is what you should do. Exactly. It, not what makes your friend. Your friend may be, may, may be giving you tips on what works for her. It may not work for you. Work for like you. I said, that is it. That yeah. is it. You feel go play with your husband. Knock a hand for head. Bagam. The man hey. will land you. Another, somebody like Pat Ayaba feel knock the husband. Bagam. The man will laugh. Knock him back. Or yeah. smack her bum bum. Then go follow the enter bedroom. You try so your own. Now mouth. Follow mouth. You feel okay. <laughs> eh? <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, true. Know, somebody we want, we want imitate Susan Ebati. If you want go use the husband, go that play. Then I talk, tell us that toy. Will you get out of there? That toy. <laughs> you don't get respect for the gola. Go you want carry my? <laughs> you understand? I think they play with my own. Like if I'm bored, I go carry and play. You won't go carry your own play. Make sure say the man as small, 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 small. If you never start them from day one of marriage, that is why they talk and say. What do you know? What do you know? Say you know if you finish no starter. And what do you want? That thing that makes you happy started from the day one of your marriage. Yeah. You know, go wake up after 10 years of marriage. You won't go slap your husband for head. Hello. What do you drink that day? <laughs> if you want to let it be from the beginning of your marriage and then experiment little by little, little yes, by little, yes. little by little. Then before you know it. You understand? He go come there used to run. Don't just wake up and then you want to try something no, that exactly. maybe blessing CEO mentioned something on her TikTok. Yeah. You want to go follow blessing CEO. Blessing no, CEO don't, don't, don't enter commodes. You no, understand? No, you no. don't. She's the content creator. That thing where she talk may you do. If you don't check, look the kind of man you are married to and ask yourself. Now this kind of man, I could do this kind of thing with. Same thing with the man. Same thing. Yeah. Somebody like me, I get a shower vibe for bad for bedroom. I they ah. play. I'm very naughty in the bedroom. Me too. You understand? So me, me get side chick vibe on my own. I get side chick. I get a shower vibe. Side yeah. chick. Everything. <laughs> yeah? So just just losing up in marriage. Like don't yeah. take marriage too serious. You get people they take marriage like office work. Yeah, you know, everything you're very serious. Losing up when I still get 50, 60, 70, 80 years together, when I know they yeah. go anywhere, you still have years together. 
and they respect each other. Eh? Sometimes, see, finish, they enter marriage. See, finish. Because you are married and you now have children, you have male children, you have female children, you begin to take your spouse for granted. Now, we they even do pass my gender. Yeah. Now we they do pass. We take no ourselves for granted. for granted. Niger daughter, there yeah. Make allow, make allow Niger daughter. Niger daughter, yeah. Give us your own before we go. Niger daughter. She did this. So. I know. I tell all these people when they had camera, they fear them. What are you doing there? <laughs> Niger daughter, make a, make I tell that what happened this happened. Everybody is her husband. Her husband, they background, they drag her, made the enter bedroom. She they say, leave me alone, Jare. And you know not the person they tire. Leave me alone. You, the man they tell and say, na lie. Only even one. You know they agree. You know they agree. She they say, na lie. Leave me alone. And they try. At least I agree. Do once in a week. Niger daughter, you go open your nash here. Once a week, na vasi ha. I know Teko. Nasi Bivasi. Atalia. Niger daughter. She don't hide her face. <laughs> Are you there? Okay, she's not. Okay, she. Okay, she said okay. she wants to make sure come back. Okay, okay, okay. I think her, her network is this baby. Yeah. Anyways, so like we're saying, Bam, if for marriage to work out, you see some couples, you see them, they live together for 30, 40 years. Not be miracle. No. It is not magic. It is something they worked on. And that is why from the day one, anything one know, like I tell my husband, I know they hide them, I know they keep anything, yes, say, uh, make a manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, go walk and they open up because so that tomorrow you know, go say, Why are you complaining about this? You have been taking hey. it before. No, I want them, I will tell you so that you will know because it is for two of us yeah. instead of pretending. But if they scratch me, I want Bola, I'm gonna pretend. Yeah, eh? you know, satisfy me, I'm gonna pretend. I not come, I'm gonna pretend. pretend. Why? You know, now because of all this fakeness, okay, well, imagine what I read on social media. Issue. My heart was bleeding. So you can this make, came make out sure his five children are not being getting. I use your camera. No. Now, now, just, can, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Now, we come to send ah. you to your room, you day. I say good evening, man. No. See me, see me for here. Uh -huh. I sit down. Uh -huh. I, but I'll come for me. I feel talk. Me, I come for me. I feel talk. <laughs> me, I the shape where we talk. <laughs> I want to ask you one question, Niger daughter. Before you oh, go yeah. on, you don't give up. I never give up. Oh, God, people tell Waiting you, so I never give up. Waiting happens. I ah, will not be working at this thing. Ah. Hey, God. <laughs> <bro. laughs> Hi, 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 hi. I see the chat. I need you. I want to follow my feet. So I need you for my WhatsApp group group class. Okay, mom. Now your wife, okay, wife, bro. Now your wife, very young that wife. That is why I climb. I want to ask you one question because me, okay. I, is it not true? Say because you know they give your guy every time. You know, love her or na lo libido. Now, because I say you don't love your partner, now I make you know they give her. Or now, because you love her, now you they give her. Now, wait till I want to ask. Okay. You want to ask me, Abby? Abby, you want Yes, ma. Me, okay. Yes, ma. Uh, ask me, her, ma. Uh, hey, me, you see, I say me talk and just now say, don't tell where I, I don't they do this thing since 30 years. And it never sit tire me. Now, individual thing, you don't get anything to do with you love you love your husband, I make you want to give her, or you don't love her, I make you want to give her. If it's to be say na sexual libido, if it's to be say na you be the type of people where it be say the thing not just the since you start to the knock, you know they thrill you. Then there's people mm -hmm. they like that. But as far as say you don't marry, now your duty anytime your husband say give me, it day for Bible. Bible states and clearly say, don't defraud your husband. 
and it's, it comes to turn to a husband. It comes to don't de, don't defraud your wife. It's saying a sin. Go read down from seven, second Corinthians chapter seven, verse five. You go read down. You read down from I think now from verse four, five. You go read down read seven. He order us there. He say even if you call yourself man of God, you won't go pray. Take permission from your partner. If he say go, go. If he say no, go, no go. And if he constantly say go, not to take, make the man for not fall into temptation. You get her. So now, wait till the Bible don't already tell us if you are a Christian. Okay. Even if you are not a Christian, this knocking way with the talk. So it is healthy. It gets health benefits way they give us if you knock. You know, say that's how we would talk and we go with the everybody they laugh just now. Yes. If you get joint pain, you knock and you come to orgasm, it will release you because of the hormones where you release when you come to orgasm. You get them. If you they feel pains, yes, it will relieve, relieve those pain. If you they if you they get difficulty to sleep, it go make you sleep, and that can, that sleep not deep sleep. So it gets its own uh, health benefit. It constantly get waiting Bible says to make we do so that one of us. No go get into temptation. So if you be the person where no, even if you don't like and right from time, give them to your husband. If you don't want to give them to them, tell them the reason why you don't feel give them to them. Okay. That I they work, not be excused. Everybody they work. But because of saying you they work, your home go come there at risk. No. Mm. Because people go say, ah, now cannot be food. Now food, though. Go and let me food. Now food. Go Better eat. food. God created him. He can't create in food for no and come. You get him? He creates hope. He can't create waiting for the enter the hole. He not say if he mm. cooks you or cook anything for him. God will create Adam okay, and Steve. He not waiting if they do it for Okay, make I do Adam and Steve. He not do Steve. Now if he do. Because of that mm. one. Ola. So by the time you are doing that, and when you are knocking all the time, it it make it makes you and your partner to be closer. If we not because yes. that at the time when I tell they intimate, that at the time when I tell they see each other nakedness, it will come cuddle you, will come slap your hands, come suck your breast. All those things they bring partner together. When your husband or your wife don't have anything to miss about you, that marriage is as good as it goes so pack. Mm. I never say for me. And, mm. and apart from that, eh, eh Niger daughter. Especially Ma. we when we still young like this, eh, we still have a mm. long way to go. Mm -hmm. Marriage no be one year contract, no be five oh, years, no be lifetime thing. Now lifetime thing. If you begin the wrong from them or they give excuse today, it go hard for you to continue. Yes. Okay. If you they avoid, if you avoiding it, you that if you avoid to uh, to give your husband. Uh, because of work. That is how you continue to avoid it. And excuses go there. As you tire like this now, you say now work, you don't tire. As you tire, so enter mm. bathroom, go back. Eh? Enter bathroom, go back. Mm. You yourself, by yourself, go climb your husband, tell her, say, come, make you enter bedroom. As your children don't do <laughs> so. Drag and go. I will ask you a question too, you know. <laughs> okay. Drag and go. When you don't drag and go, release yourself. No, they see and say now walk. Now the problem is that now mindset. Would they see and say now walk? And the moment you see and say now extra work, we not go feed one because you don't tire. You because yeah, make a come begin to another work. No, be work. See it as a pleasure. It is supposed to give you pleasure and relieve you of the stress of work where you don't do. If people say person get headache. It take paracetamol a bit. Their body take paracetamol. Now so bola be when your body don't tire. When you chop hmm. pan, you go never you sleep well. When you don't sleep, you wake up. Your body all those pain will go. So don't even be seeing it as a work, because the problem we women are when we are getting it wrong is we see it as a work. Like now another work. I bet leave me. I don't get tired. But if you don't see it as work, as you, you not begin to see it as a pleasure, you will, even when you are tired, you want to take it. You want to still have it. And once a week, it will dry. What do they do once a week? Once a week, not be this, not be this that they give you now. Not be one, don't but do it once a week. week. 
Uh, at, two least, times a week. at least three times. Make it three times. You still get very young. Your body is still very strong and active. What do they do three times? <laughs> you are still very active. Uh, uh, eh? okay. When people are 50, they do two times. You wait in your 20s, you go come, they do two times. Papa. Enjoy ah, it. Mama, you be in charge. <laughs> eh? I, I, I won't ask her a question. No. Hey. Okay. Uh, since you start with the knack, you, you like the thing, or since you start with the knack, you know just they like them at all. Ha. You said they like them before. Oh, we did like saying a private too. Eh? Ah. Eh? This one a private ask question. <laughs> be... Okay, I wanted to see if something is wrong so we can rectify it. Okay. Eh? Okay. <laughs> but my adult to be uh Niger daughter, you don't marry, you get children. Okay. You yes. don't be saying a single girl. You they enjoy yeah. her before. I do not enjoy her before. Ha. Don't be saying I don't enjoy her more, but uh, not the way of God say one time. Not be the way me tell the one time. You know, not be maybe every time God one time now. Maybe eh, as he you say me pass, you maybe you go one time. Me, I know one time like that. Uh, Two times in a week is okay for me. Income, I don't like when that. you find an eh? attractive to Ram, but why not go the one time when you pass? Eh, but it not be food now. Nah, but my mommy is saying her food. But for my me, I look at her and no, my food not nah, total food with that. Now nah, food. You know, eh. these are the you, these are the things we we tend to shy away from. You know, the reason I'm asking, I don't, I don't mean to ask you personal questions. I want to, I wanted to see if there's a problem you are not even seeing, or your husband is not seeing. That was why I was asking. Okay, is it that it's painful or when he's asking for much, it's just that you don't want just to, you don't get oh, the power. You get the okay, you know what thing will happen, eh? Niger daughter, eh? I will collect your Instagram, eh? We'll go talk one on one. I will go see, eh? Eh? What be your Instagram? Mommy Susan Habat, uh -huh. so that we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go trash her for Instagram or WhatsApp later. Uh -huh. Give me your ah, Instagram. That one will be secret. Abby. Oh yeah, give me your Instagram. Nah, Joyce dot Estelle. Joyce. Joyce dot Estelle. Joyce dot Estelle. Joyce. Okay. Joyce. Okay. That's Joyce. Joyce dot eh? Estelle. Now, J O J O Y C E, right? Yeah, J O Y C E dot Estelle. Okay. Dot Estelle. Okay. I will reach you for Instagram so that we will talk. You now find the waist is very, I mean, you still get very strong and young. Wait, see. Oh, God, suppose oh. they collect them every night. I so. they active, oh. I they active, oh. Now that every day. So you will go say, uh, uh, two rank. I say, ha. Huh? How woman will don't come and go see do another rank again? <laughs> Once you call your body, go weak, man. How you will do another rank again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some women like that. I'm in that table. When I come to orgasm, I will not even want the man to touch me. The only thing I do is don't touch my breast, don't suck my breast, don't kiss me, just leave me, just dig the hole and go. Some people they like that, and I belong to okay. that. Thing. But so, sometimes it depends mm -hmm. on the mood. It depends on the mood. Like sometimes, mm -hmm. if I'm in the mood, I can go two, three. If yeah, I'm in the but mood. Me, uh, but me, I'm on that table that once I don't come, everything irritates me. Just like as I don't yeah, like Thank you, ma'am. I don't like long sex. When the sex is long, it's, it became boring okay. for me. So I don't like it. So we, we get the way our body takes day. So, but if, <laughs> after saying that, if you don't come to orgasm and organ never come, it's still say open leg. You're doing now to open and make it come. That's a make we come. Make we come now. Come now. Me, I cannot do it. I can come now. Give me time. Yeah. I'll come again. We'll now can we come. Say mm -hmm. like that, like that. I did that table. Mm -hmm. I know it. As I love and rich, I know fit say make I come come. The only time okay. when it happened to me, I almost I know fit stand. My legs just kind of shake for granted. I don't be good experience. But you go they shake, blah, 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 blah. I don't really like it because it can't be like that. I can't be like that stress. You know, so give me time. Okay. Come, come back again. I will do it. You know, so yeah. my sister is cool there. My food. My food okay, though. Ma. And yeah. until, okay, until you see it there as a duty. Okay, and as a pleasure, when you okay. stop seeing it as stress and work, you begin now from mind you will begin enjoying, and then your husband, okay, if before ego wants you, tell him you now now you, you they talk, tell him say ah, 
play with me. Tell her what you go do to you. We go make your body come. They go make your body release. You understand? Because if you don't play with your body, and then you know, may you know hide your body for her. Release your body. Making day very romantic to you. Once you don't feel play with you, kiss you play very well. No, you go one time. In fact, tomorrow now you go still drag and say, make one still do. You understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. so mommy, uh, we'll uh, mommy Souza, they still ask her a question. I say, wait it, why li low libido? Yeah, my homo because yeah, my okay. homos, you know, mm -hmm. when your my hormones they make us they get as a uh, low sexual libido and it can be corrected as testosterone. Mm. I they I they support somebody for, for TikTok. Okay, may I come out the volume and hey, may I for concentrate? Okay, as they, they see testosterone, now they're responsible for our for for men reproductive system. So progesterone too, they're responsible for women reproductive system. Women. So when some hormones like cortisol can they go down, which is the stress hormone, it not can they okay. Your all those uh, hormones we're supposed to they make body they sweet you all of them go go down. But with plants, with what you eat, you feel bring them. You go see now they go say this food is very very rich in in uh, uh, progesterone. Oh, wow. or this food mm -hmm. is very rich in pro progesterone. Then you start taking it. Now you go to pursue the mad they go. You understand? And so uh -huh. your, your tutor go come they do. You see my hands so the clitoris go come they do like this. Not just <laughs> okay. no, 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 okay. <laughs> Nice, Felicia. Thank you so much. Yes. So, uh, no, no, no. Thank you very uh, much, man. No, it's mm -hmm. not a problem. If, yeah. you want, if you want that, I, I prepared a hair on my YouTube channel, uh, Sexual Libido. You can go and look at it. The things where I take preparer, now what you forget, aphrodisiac fruit. The only thing that you go to herbal sh uh, shop to buy is uh, maca powder. But if you still they like sex, you know, just low, low, just use only the fruits. Aphrodisiac fruits mm -hmm. are very, very rich in that. Blend all together, you yeah. drink it, will be okay. The video then is even eat a lot of watermelon, eat watermelon very well and, and fine. I will make it your favorite. You know, watermelon is seasonal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I like watermelon. You don't yeah. like her? Uh, oh, no, I don't like eh? watermelon at all. <laughs> except I, I, no, I don't like her, except I grind her. You know, pineapple is acidic. So, you know, when I talk about my hair, my things, I they talk in case of people with get sickness. Maybe you get us now and I don't measure a uh, pineapple. I don't measure some acidic fruits. No, they go well with some. So you go select the aphrodisiac fruits where they okay for okay. you. You understand? So you will drink and okay. you go. Then if you see say the lipid are really low, even if they should be prick for your eye, your clitoris not go raise. You go go buy that maca powder. Just add one tablespoon, uh, I say tablespoon, teaspoon to it to blend it together. You go see your body. Now okay. You now you go so to the your yes, yes, so. so if ah. you add if you add pumpkin, join join. Uh, if you add pumpkin, join those are for the staff food. Then you can't add maca to her. Ah, you will come my channel. Come tell me say my husband call me Asha. <laughs> 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 thank you, ma. Oh, Mommy, you you know, thank, thank you, ma. Thank you. I mean, I follow her. Yeah, I yeah. reconnect. Thank you very so, much, ma. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Follow me. I go follow on back, okay? Thank you, ma. Thank you. I'll follow. I'll follow you now. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I did loyal. I did the background. Thank you. Yes, ma. All right, then. I love you all, okay? I, we I, love you too. Oh, thank you very much, ma. Thank, thank you Mama very much. Mama. Yes. I love you now. Yes, so, and, okay, before we go through, ma'am, like, my mommy, Susan, how about you just uh, your final word before you go on this question. So, what yeah. are the secrets of successful marriage? No yeah. secrets other than all that we have been talking about. Exactly. Here. No secrets, because what might work for you, I might tell you this is the secret for my own, I feel tell you, not go work for your own. You understand? So all the things we don't talk since, just pick from them and try to apply it. You know, there is no manual for successful marriage. Marriage mm. is between you and that man. You know, what yeah. works for me is sacrifice and compatibility. You understand? And things where you see, say, it will cause uh, trouble. Try, swallow them. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So 
That's just yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. Thank you very much, ma. Right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. I appreciate yes. you. God bye. bless you. Bye. Yes. Thank you. So, so guys, rounding up now, I would say that um, there are certain things we just have to overlook in marriage. There are certain things for, for marriage to be successful. Sometimes we go close our eyes. We close our eyes to, to certain things. Because if we want to look at everything, every little thing that happens in marriage, we will not be happy. We learn to live with certain things and then overlook them. Why we look upon the strength? That's, that's why I said that in marriage, don't hold on to the weakness of your partner. Hold on to the strength instead. Because as you are holding on to the strength, you will help the person build the strength. And then those weaknesses will become very small and minute in your eyes. Then there is no room for comparison. Everybody have one or two things they are dealing with. There is no perfect marriage out there. That person you see on Instagram, giving you couples goals every day. You don't know what they're dealing with. They may be very good outside, but inside the house, they are cat and rats. It may also be for content. So just do what works for you, what makes you happy, and what makes your partner happy. Always look out for the happiness of your partner. Does that thing, that thing you want to do, that thing you're doing, does it make your partner happy? Is it food that makes your partner very happy? Is it the company you keep? Is it how you gist? Is it even love making? What makes your partner very happy? Is it your physical appearance? If it is, then keep giving it to him or her. You don't just assume that marriage will fix it. It doesn't fix itself. You have to work on it. And you working on it means you also helping your partner as well in their area of weakness. If you know that thing that will make them happy, please, by all means, do it. By all means, do it. You don't have to wait for your partner to tell you every time something you, I mean, you've been living together, something that makes her happy or something that makes him happy. You don't wait all the time. Go out of your way to do it. So long as it will put a smile on their face. Marriage is a long journey. It is not a, a one year or a two years thing. It is forever. And we say, let's grow all together till death do us part. And in the area of sex, we just have to, especially we women, it is tiring. Sometimes we understand, but communicate it with your husband in the best way they will understand. So that's okay, please. Can we do it tomorrow? Okay, please. I promise. Look, I'm very tired or I feel very tired. Let's do it tomorrow. But don't just wake them up. It is a feeling. They feel like having you. If he doesn't like you, he doesn't love you, he will not want to do it. If he's not aroused by your body, he will not want to do it. He will go and get a side chick out there and do it. For, but for a man to want you the wife all the time, that means there is something special about you. He wants that bond with you all the time. And above all, the only secret I will point out here, despite everything we have said, is always committing your marriage in the hands of God. Committing it in prayer. We, I mean, despite being all, all the physical things, still commit it spiritually in the hands of God. Let God be the head of your home. Pray for your partner. Do not stop praying for your partner. If it's that weakness that is the only problem, the only challenge, commit that weakness in the hands of God. In as much as we know we cannot change anybody, you cannot conform a grown adult, you cannot change or transform a grown adult to be who he or she isn't. With prayer, you that thing may begin to, you know, it may be good, begin to look very little. That thing you see very serious that is troubling you, what, by the time you're committed it into the hands of God, that thing will no longer be a problem to you. You'll be able to walk over it. Do not relent in prayer. And then bond. Play like children. Play. Have fun. This life now once. Why are you being so rigid? You can't throw away your clothes. You can't play with your partner. Why are you being so rigid? These are the secrets. These are the things that makes marriage admirable. Admirable. It is the things that makes marriage look very fantastic and beautiful. Nothing more. Whether with money, without money, your marriage can still be beautiful. 
Money is good, but it's an icing on the cake. You mustn't go to Bahamas to make your marriage beautiful. You don't have to travel around the world to make your marriage beautiful. Even in the comfort of that one room, even in the comfort of that face me, I face you, your marriage can still be beautiful. It is what you two have decided to make out of it that will make it work. Let outsiders not be the judge. You are the judge of your marriage. Ask yourself, is my marriage working? Am I making my partner happy? Is my partner my, is, is my, partner my friend? These are the secrets. Nothing more. It can only work if you decide to make it work. And overlook what you see on social media. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. We all have our weaknesses. We all have something we're dealing with. So don't compare. Don't look at glamorous couples on, on social media and you want your marriage to be like that. You don't know what they're dealing with. So stop tapping and enjoy the beautiful hope God has given you. Enjoy the marriage God has blessed you with. Enjoy your children. I remember that you have once promised yourself that it is still dead to you, part that you want to grow old together. Then work on it. Begin the journey already. Begin the journey. Let's leave it here, guys. Until I come your way again um, with another video on, on another live stream tomorrow, same time. Guys, don't forget, same time tomorrow, we'll be treating another interesting topic. And uh, thank you so much for your support, everyone. Um, Alima to Annie, Bella, Lawson, thank you so much. I'm just seeing you. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, uh, True Mamle, thank you so much. You have, been, you have been here with me. Alima to Sevilla, thank you so much. Annie, Bella, Lawson, thank you. I appreciate you for joining, okay? Please, guys, if you have not given me a thumbs up, consider giving me a thumbs up now, okay? And if we are, if we are not connected, click that subscribe, okay? So we stay connected. And if you're a content creator, leave me a comment in any of my videos and I will come and support you as well. This is what we do for ourselves here, okay? Estelle, thank you. I appreciate you. Pretty happy. The people's choice of first, of first corner. Thank you. Uh, Olufunke Nemuzo. Dalurinde, thank you so much. Oh, yo, yo, man, yo, man. Lucy Chioma, thank you, man, yo, man. Everyone in the chat here. God bless you guys. Fabro happiness. You've been so amazing, gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Um, be the care with case. Thank you so much, everyone. Peaceful family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless each and every one of you for your love and your support, guys. Let's do this again tomorrow. But before then, of course, we need to give our dance out. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I appreciate you. Okay. God bless you for your love and your support. Okay, let's do this again tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Susan, how about you? Thank you. Be the peace of my